Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, how's it going? Welcome in, welcome in. Happy Friday, happy Friday. How's everyone doing? Alina, hello, hello. Thank you so much for the first redeem. Welcome in. Hey, talk. How's it going? All my people. <laughs> the dab is what killed it. The dab is what killed it. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Welcome in, Kofi. How's it going? Um, tomorrow you have the video ready. What video? There's a video? Ha hello from the other side. It's Saturday? Oh, sh oh yeah, New Zealand. That's cray. Oh my god, I have a birthday video. Oh my god, okay. I'm looking forward to it. I keep forgetting that it's my birthday this weekend. Until I was doing my schedule, I was like, wait. I'm not doing my uh, stream on Sunday because it's my birthday. I forgot. And life is the real time send the pain. I keep getting 532nd... What is that? What 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 is lip... Lip, lip, get, lip, uh, what? Ads? <laughs> Are those ads? Um, if I didn't dab, I felt it wouldn't have been creepy. <laughs> yes, it is my birthday on this Sunday, on the twenty first of April. I'm a I'm a Taurus gal. I'm a Taurus gal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not doing anything much, all, all, cause my mom's coming back for my birthday, so my mom's coming back tomorrow, and I told her, like, anything we do, I just want my dog to be involved, so I was like, let, we have to go to, like, dog-friendly restaurants, dog-friendly cafes, and y'all just know, like, dog-friendly places are, they don't have the best food, let's be real, this is not Australia, okay, this is not Australia where apparently dogs are allowed everywhere, you can bring your dogs to a cafe. Everyone will be like, oh my God, so cute. No, you bring your dog to a non-dog friendly cafe over here, you'll be chased out, basically. So I'm not expecting great food for my birthday, but at least I'll have my doggy with me. That's, that's the most important thing. That's the most important thing. <laughs> but I just, uh, this, is, this is the end of an era, guys. This is going to be Vol in her 30s. I can't believe I said that. I can't believe I said that. Here I'm being a Pisces girl. No matter how we vibe together. <laughs> hey, do I welcome it? The fuck, you didn't show up on my follow list? Well, did you unfollow me? I'm kidding, you probably didn't. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, this is not a dog-friendly country at all, which I'm really sad about, but you know. Yeah, it's the dirty 30s. Am I looking forward to it? No. Hey, maybe like I'll wake up on Sunday and suddenly I'll just be like really mature. Maybe I'll just come in here and be like, hello everyone. Welcome to stream. Welcome. Hello. Talk, thank you so much for the three stream streak. Thank you, thank you so much. Hello, oh, China, they eat dogs. My friend actually, uh, she stays in China, she stays in Beijing, and she brings her dog everywhere. Like, they're like more dog friendly than they are here. It's actually insane. When's my birthday? My birthday is this Sunday. Um, I'm, I, I'm not looking forward to it, but I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Vo will never be mature. Oh, uh, hold on a second. I think I'll be super mature. <laughs> Yes, I am streaming tomorrow. So tomorrow is like my actual, I guess, I don't know. I say birthday celebration on stream, but I'm not, not actually doing anything. Um, but I won't be streaming on Sunday because Sunday is just a day of chill. I'm going to be bringing my dog out. I see, I don't know if it's my dog's birthday or my birthday because I'm literally doing everything for my dog. I'm like, I'm going to bring her to the park. I'm going to let her run around. I'm going to bring her to dog-friendly cafes. So it's just like, is it even my birthday anymore? I don't even know. Uh, but... <laughs> Oh my god, no, you don't have to. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Don't don't worry about it, okay? Your girl has her final interview for a new job happening next week, and hopefully, if I get it, which I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll get it. Like, at this point, it's been four interviews in. They're just letting me go see the office for the last interview. Like, it's not even, like, the person that I'm going to meet isn't even, like, the person I'm going to be working with. So, you know, it's just like, I, I'm pretty sure I got it. 
And that will come with a good pay raise. Lost it, lost it. Let's go into some stardews, y'all. I'm talking. I'm t oh, oh, wait. Uh, game audio. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah, sure, she is mature, but tomorrow's birthday video will be judged. You will be the judge of it? Wait, hold on. Wait, oh god, is it bad? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Wait, what am I kind of scared right now? Why am I a little bit scared? Shut the fuck. This bitch just called me a boomer. What the damn hell? <laughs> this just called me a boomer. Okay, let's do this. All right, okay, ever since we left off last week on some Stardews, things have changed. Hold on. Ah! Uh, it says not responding. I think I'm gonna have to reload it. Hold. Did I download way too many mods? Is that it? Did I download too many mods and now it's just not loading? Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it's honestly very possible. And it's not even in the hundreds though. It's not even in the hundreds. I, I, yes, I do have the same birthday as Queen Elizabeth. So I was really sad that she died because I can't, I can't say that I share the same birthday as the Queen. I mean, I can still say it, but you know, she's dead. So like, you know. Talk, you're gonna go off to sleep because you need it. No worries. Talk, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Good night. Good night, good night. I wish I could sleep. Like, I wish I could be, like, really disciplined and sleep at a proper, good, correct time. But I really don't. I really, I, I do need to, though. You didn't know it was a, but wait, seriously? You didn't know that I shared the same birthday as Queen Elizabeth? The icon, the myth, the legend? Hold on. I need to adjust this. Okay, does this work? Is it all good? You share the same birthday as Diego Maradona? Oh, an Argentinian soccer player. Oh, that's good, right? Wait, I think I also share the same birthday as like William Shakespeare. Hold on. I'm not saying I'm a poet, but... <laughs> No, he was born on April 23rd. Oh, damn it. So, okay, well, I almost shared the same birthday as William Shakespeare. Wait, famous birthdays, April 21st. Okay, surely someone famous would share the same birthday as me. Wait, bot's not working? Okay, hold. Let me... I don't know, uh, Streamlabs does this sometimes where they like to just deactivate my, my little bot. Give me a second, hold. Tell me cause I like the story. Alrighty, it is back on now. It is back on, it's back on. Okay, I share, oh my God, I share so the same birthday. So many TikTok stars, what the hell? And random people, too. Hold on. Let me show you guys, too. Alright. This is, this is the list of famous people that I apparently share the same birthdays with. No, the bot is modded. It just likes to turn itself off sometimes for some reason. Um, but you see a bunch of TikTok stars, a bunch of Instagram stars, YouTube stars. Soon my picture will be here, guys. Trust. <laughs> um, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> Wait, Chris Broad. That's uh, a, a board in uh, abroad in Japan, right? That that guy. I I I I know that guy. He he did that uh, cycling thing recently. Um, yeah, I don't know any of these people. <laughs> um. What, well, 
You know what? I'm I'm gonna put my ooh, wait, this is in entertainment. Oh, as in what ooh like what movies were released? This is bad. This is bad. By profession. Oh no, this is bad. Let's not look at this anymore. This is kind of depressing. It's kind of depressing. The most famous one for me was Queen Elizabeth and she's dead. And she's dead. Yeah, I, I don't know any other people here. Wait, is this person? No, I, I thought that person was from uh, Sex and the City. No, that, that's just some random pop singer. Yeah, yeah, I don't know these people. Darn it. They're looking at me. Okay, let's do... Do I like this? No, I don't like that. Do I like this? Okay, this is good, this is good. You have the same birthday as Shia LaBeouf? Oh my god, wait, that's so good. Wait, have you heard of the Shia LaBeouf song before? Yeah, if you don't know the Shia LaBeouf song, you gotta go Google the Shia LaBeouf song, okay? Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Wait, but why do you get a famous actor and I, I get random TikTok stars? Come on, man. Wait, Peter, yeah, Dinklage, right? Peter Dinklage, the guy from uh, Game of Thrones? I heard that he was the reason um, they decided to not make dwarves in the upcoming live action uh, Snow White movie. He was like, yeah, that's insulting. And then, like, uh, the actual, like, what, what, is the, what is the PC term for the shorter people? Anyway, the shorter people said that that's, like, one of the only movies that they can actually, you know, get hired in. And he kind of ruined it for them. Hmm. Hmm. The house actor Hugh Laurie. Is it the main house guy? I mean, I don't know his, the actor's name. But, um... If it's the main guy, I know what he looks like then. The all isn't the Witcher guy, um, the Superman, um, Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. You share the same birthday as John Adams and Ivanka Trump. <laughs> oh my god, that's great. I love that. Hold on, this is not... Hold on... Huh? Wait, I'm trying to make sure that the audio works. Stardew... Wait, it is that? Oh no, this one maybe. There we go. There we go. Okay, so... Um, in case you missed my awesome Twitter spree that I did recently, um, I found a bunch of funny mods and I downloaded one of them. And I want to go see the result of that mod right now. Apparently, it changes Alex into frickin', um, what's his face? Troy Bolton. And if the mod worked correctly, it should look like frick I, I'm talking to Troy Bolton from High School Musical. Yeah, yeah, so you share the same birthday as um, Donald Trump's favorite daughter, mind you. You're, you're, you don't share it with Tiffany Trump, who that, you know? You share it with his favorite daughter, the one that he has publicly said that, oh, you know, I, she, she, she's so hot that he wants to um, be with her. Even though she's his daughter. So yeah. There's that. <laughs> he said that. That happened. Wait, I need to go find where Alex is. Hold on. Liam Hemsworth is taking over the next season. Wait. Wait, The Witcher is still happening? 
I thought I thought it was canceled. <gasps> okay, so <gasps> it is Troy Bolton. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, this is the best shit ever. <laughs> I love you, Troy. <laughs> Can't stop, can't stop. That is it. Better get my shot. That's who I am. That is my plan. Da -da 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 -da. Bet on it, bet on it, bet on it, bet on it. <laughs> I love this mod. Oh my god. Troy Bolton is asking me if I did something different with my hair. No Troy Bolton, but you know. Wait, what is my relationship status with Troy Bolton? Um. Oh, it's oh, it's pretty damn high. Oh, it's high. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we're gonna be romancing Troy Bolton in this little thing. Not gonna lie. You are a walking red flag, comfy. A walking red flag. They are producing season four at the moment, and then we'll uh, get season five, and then it's canceled. Oh, okay. Well, at least they're kind of wrapping it up. At least it's not like because so many shows that they just kind of like cancel at the drop of a hat and like they always end on the cliffhanger they always end the seasons off on the cliffhanger and then like all of a sudden oh no like oh shit this this um tv show isn't getting um uh isn't getting a new season or something so you're always just left like well shit now what so you never know what happens sometimes to the cancel shows like there's just no like proper ending but it seems like this one, they're giving it like a proper ending, at least, I hope. Season 5 will be the last season. Season 4 is currently being filmed with Liam Hemsworth. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Well, that's not too bad then. At least, at least that's something. At, le at least you get a proper send off. And I'm trying to like sit properly, but Quinn is just under the table and in a very odd fashion that I can't, I can't roll my chair in right now. Like, I just feel like just kicking her to the side, honestly. I don't want to roll over her little baby sleeper. Okay. Hopefully I don't roll her, roll over her. Uh, since it was the worst for that, they cancelled it after season two because of budget reasons and fans literally forced Netflix to make a movie to tie off loose ends. Oh, th so they did actually make a movie for it. Well, that's not too bad. At least they did it, you know? That's not too bad. Um... I can't remember which show was it exactly. Was it... Which show did I love that was just like kind of cancelled and I didn't get a resolution to it? Was it Madam Secretary? I loved Madam Secretary. I loved it. No, it wasn't Madam Secretary because I remember I hated the last season because they changed directors or writers or something like that. And I was like, the fuck is this? It's terrible. But I digress. Okay. I wanted to make a little, um, a bigger farm area over here, but this is kind of in the way, so we're gonna have to move this little guy here. I don't know if this is kind of, this is kind of too, I don't know, wait, hold on. We need to clear this area, make it look a little better. Um, Mo, uh, Molo? M Molo? Hello, hello, welcome in, how's it going? Just clear in this little area. As a two and a half hour movie, okay, well, better than nothing. Better than nothing. Uh, at, le at least they kind of cleared everything up. Okay, this is better. Well, do I want to clear this area? Nah. Nah. Okay, so I want to make a farm part over here, like a bigger farm part, because this is the Meadowlands farm, so there's not a lot of farmable areas, you know, there's not a lot of space for that. I have a small farmable area over here, but it's like nothing. That's like, that's, that's, you know, this is nothing. I won't be able to sustain a healthy salary based off of that. You're about to go on vacation. Oh my gosh, nice. Where are you going off to? Everything you found on Wiki, you share the same birthday as Farina, the first F1 world champion. Ooh. Then why do you guys have such cool ones? And I get a dead queen and TikTok stars. And it's not even like, I, it's not even TikTok stars like Charlie D'Amelio or Addison Ray. I don't even know these people. <laughs> they're too young. They're too young. <laughs> you head off to Portugal. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I've never been to Portugal before, but I've always wanted to go. And how long will you be in Portugal for? 
since it was such a huge budget show for like 2015 and was a money nightmare um, since they were filming in like eight to ten different co uh, countries across one season that's why I'm wondering sometimes it's just like who the heck just green lit lights green lights a huge production show like that and it's just like you know what okay let's just kind of chill with it you know Okay, I think this is good. And then we'll, we'll do like a little porch thingy off it. We'll pretend this is a house, even though it's like, what the hell is this? It's a shed. I could make it a house. Hey Reaper, welcome, welcome in. Vol clairvoyance. I'm not gonna lie, when I was trying to find a, um, a, a Twitch name for when I was starting to stream, I was thinking of clairvoyance, clarity, you know, all this kind of clair type of things. Um, and they were all taken. So, went with Vauclair. Though there is another Vauclair. It's the, the clair is a, like a C-L-A-I-R-E, I think? I, I, I saw it, I saw it, and I was like, ooh, ooh, oops. I share a birthday with ladies man, 278, no, never, what the heck? Who's ladies man? Is clairvoyance when you see the dead? Is it though? I think it's clairvoyant. If you're clairvoyant, aren't you like psychic? Isn't that another word for psychic? Clairvoyant. A person who claims to have a supernatural ability to perceive events in the future or beyond normal sensory content. Oh, so basically I'll be able to see the future. I would love to see the future. That would be great. Shia LaBeouf? <laughs> Comfy, thank you so much for the 10 stream streak. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, 20 more to go to climb back to the same streak where I started. You've got this, you've got this. If, if I do get that new job that I was talking about, I would want to... Um, I would want to ask if I could start like a week later because I do want to take a week off just to chill. You know, I don't want, I don't want to just jump right back into work. You know, I want to have a little bit of a break. I'll just a teeny tiny bit of a break. Teeny tiny. Well, new job, yeah, new job. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get it though, so we'll 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 see, we'll see. Have you seen this kid whose superpower is he can lie? Oh, does it mean like he lies about anything and people will just believe him even though he may look like a shit liar? Is that it? Okay, two tiles down. Oops. Is that two? One, two, I think so. He said he's from the moon and the future, I don't know. It's leg press day today, I'll say hi to the girl for you. Wait, what girl? Hey, yo, what? Did I miss something? Did I miss an episode of something? What's happening here? Did you just say, can I design your underwear? What the hell? I actually did do like a, um, as part of my final, well, not the final, final project, but like one of our projects, I forgot what class it was for, but um, essentially we had to kind of, oh, product development. It was for product development. And we were doing it for a uh, socks brand. And we were saying, oh, this socks print is going to go into underwear. So we designed underwear for this socks print. And it was like happy underwear, you know? It had like all, all, all these prints and designs and stuff. It was kind of cute, I'm not going to lie. It was kind of cute, you know? Hey, Dante, welcome. What happened to the top secret file in the bit? Well, the top secret file is now on my other bit. I'm trying to see. <laughs> okay, well, you, you guys you guys can see it, but it's just, it's, it's just, it's, just keep in mind that my bed is really messy and now the top secret file is there. Just, that's, all, that's all you're going to see. That's all you're getting. 
Oh, that's all you're getting. <laughs> but welcome in. How's it going? Hey, Ray. Welcome in. No, you're fine. We're only about 27 minutes in. So you're all good. Welcome in. Hey, Gianna. Welcome in as well. How many bits does one need? Okay, so I'm living temporarily in this area. So this is a service apartment that I'm living in. Um, so I'm staying here temporarily while my um, actual place is being renovated. So the, the room just came like this, okay? It came with two twin beds. And so I had to force them to get me a table and chair because I needed to stream. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Reaper just goes, this looks too clean. Huh? What? What the hell? What do you mean? I'm a clean person, I tell ya. Clean. Is some juicy gossip want to hear? I do want to hear it. Oh, wait. Music's off. I just realized. We could do a little bit of music because there's no music in Stardew. Um, do you ever smush the bits together and turn into a super king? I can't because... In the middle of, uh, well, I don't know if you guys are able to see it, but essentially, um, see that over there, that's a bit site table and it's built in, so I can't move that. Uh, so that's kind of just in the way and I won't be able to smoosh the bits together. Trust, I would have if I could. And that, that bit site table is also the only area in this room that has a socket, a power socket. So that's why I have the cables running on the other bit to come to this setup over here. It's, it's, a whole, it's a whole situation. It took me like three days to set everything up. It was nuts. It was nuts. I, it's pro streamer. <gasps> me? Me? A pro streamer? You a sports shoe brand in your uni class for sports entrepreneurship. And I say it was the best name ever. Walking on Air. Who wouldn't want shoes from a brand called Walking on Air? I mean, that, that does sound pretty good. I'm walking on sunshine. Oh. Ray's got a girlfriend. You got her flowers. Oh my God, congratulations. Now, now that you have volunteered this information over, I need more details, Ray, because I am invested in people's relationships because I have none of my own. So the question, how did you meet? Um, how did you ask her out? Uh, you know, what, what other stuff? Actually, just those two. How did you meet? How did you trust ask her out? What was her reaction? I need all the details. I need the juicy details because your, your, girl, your girl's laugh is dry like a well. What's the tea duel? Also, hey, Raymond. Welcome in. How's it going? Moved a bit forward, but then I wouldn't have the, the backrest. And I love the backrest. So I don't really need a king size bit, to be honest. The only reason why I might need it because my dog just like sprawls all over like she owns the damn place that would be the only reason but most of the time I just like kind of squish her to the corner I'm just like your side is that side and then I just kind of squish her there and she's just like mm -hmm. she settles in you know <laughs> what am I gonna die alone what yes we are die all alone how did you meet what was the line you used what's the social security number date of birth mother's maiden name <laughs> <laughs> Which bank does she currently deal with? All that jazz. Ooh, Raymond saw that coming. Okay, what is, what is the T duel? What is the T? I love T. And I love drama. And can I just say, this has been another week of great drama. Met at your uh, best friend's birthday party and she told me she likes me yesterday. Oh my god. This girl's badass. This girl is bad as I would never. I'm too shy to do that. If there was ever a guy, I would be too shy to tell the person that I like them, 100%. Give me a second, I need my phone charger. Whee! Okay, I'm rolling back. I'm rolling back. Charging the phones. You're gonna tell her next week. Oh, that's so cute. I love love. Seeing how humans are nowadays, he probably asks if she likes skibbity toilet. <laughs> you see, that's only if you are of a certain age. That's only if you are of a certain age, okay? I feel like that is if you are 
13 years old and below. That's probably what... And then, and then those above that would just ask them, what the hell is a skibbity toilet? Like, that's, that's I think, what the relationship would be like, 100%. <laughs> okay, let's do some... Oh, oh, I just downloaded these um, fences. Hold on. I think it was alternative textures. So let's just assume that we have this happening. Okay, I believe we have some alternative textures for this. Yes, we do! Oh god, this looks so good. Okay, but it's spring, so it should be this color. Oh my god, yes, yes. Chase Bank will keep an eye on your credit card. <laughs> Imagine talking to a person IRL. I don't know. This, I've, I've never done it before. <laughs> Oh no, Molo's, Molo's, what is that, a worm? Oh, the worm got interrupted. Okay, let's, let's see Duel's tea. So, Duel mentioned in Discord that uh, you had tea and I remember it, but on my town's Facebook page, this person randomly shares YouTube videos of this old guy in a hat who puts up conspiracy theory videos and he hates Asians. Oh shit, he's gonna hate me. And the Chinese, he's also gonna hate me. Uh, for whatever reason, and I saw him for real at McDonald's on Monday, and he was telling these old ladies that the Chinese were the Chinese were buying up the local meat works to use as a prisoner camp for human organ harvesting. Damn, damn, he's found us out, guys. Oh no! Alert the Pentagon. He's he he's caught us. He's caught us. How how did he know? How could he possibly know that that's exactly what I was planning to do? I, Volclair, was going to do a little bit of human harvesting, you know, just as a hobby, as a, for fun. <laughs> See, this is why I'm kind of scared to travel to um, white people places. <laughs> like, I, I love... Like Europe, for example. And I know duels in Australia, but hear me out. I love traveling to Europe and everything. And the th I would want to again one day. But the only thing kind of keeping me back is that... Well, shit. Like, I know that they're super racist. I know they're so racist. I just don't want to be attacked, you know? I don't want to be uh, that girl who got attacked in whatchamacallit, Italy, France, Paris. Be on the news, you know, for that. I don't think I like this. I might have to remove that. But I like this part. This part's nice. This part's kind of cute. I could do like a whole... ruined my flower oh man what do I do with my flower what if I use stones instead what if I use stones instead of the wood let's do that yeah something like that something You got 20 minutes before your rich boy bus. I need to get rid <laughs> Only the richest people ride the bus, okay. Your best friend is kind of mad at you because you're, because they said, I introduced you to her, so I'm the reason you two are together. Like, why? What? Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, but what do they want? Like, acknowledgement? Do they want a banner? Being like, thank you so much for introducing the two of us. Like, okay, yes, they, your best friend is the reason that, you know, you guys got together. Sure, whatever, you can acknowledge that. But what, do they want a medal? Do they want a prize? Do they want 20%? Do they want your first child, your firstborn child? Do, do they want that? <laughs> Don't give them your firstborn child, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
I, I don't understand what they are aiming after here. Oh no, my hedge, my hedge fund. You didn't know I was Chinese. I'm I'm so Chinese that I I poop dumplings. I'm oh god, why Ugh, Jesus? You would think that as I'm almost in the no the, the big three O's that I would learn how to control my mouth a little bit now and then, but Jesus. <laughs> Uh, just ignore me, ignore me. That's what I do anyway. I, I ignore myself. I ignore myself. So just, just, just do that. Just, just, you know, put the ignoring cap on, please. I beg you. Oh, for context, uh, she didn't introduce us. I just got kind of bored and started talking to her. Oh, so she was just kind of there at the your best friend's party, and then you just kind of introduced yourself. Well, okay, I mean... But, like, here's the thing. Even if she did. So? So, like, literally, just ask her, like, so? What do you want, you know, what kind of acknowledgement do you want from this? I don't like this. You're gonna sleep now. Bye bye, Mo. Thanks for being here. Have fun at Portugal. You thought I was Texan? Oh my god. Wait, my southern accent. My southern accent. Is it because I say y'all? That's only because I, I studied in Georgia. And also, like, the person I was rooming with, she was Southern. And we went to high school together and everything like that, so. Mm-hmm. The BFF is a girl plot twist, so she's either jealous or she wanted the girlfriend. I mean, that's what I'm kind of thinking too. Like, is she jealous? She might be jealous. Plot twist. You're also Chinese. You poo chicken feet. We are the same, but built different. <laughs> you poo chicken feet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like, why ask for credit for something like that? Exactly. Like, it's just, just giving me kind of low-key jealous vibes. That's what it's giving me. Like, I don't know which, in which way she's jealous, but she's definitely jealous. Invite her to y'all's wedding? <laughs> Do it. I live for the drama. Somewhere out there is a group chat of, mu of your mutual friends seeing all this shit go down. And it is me. I am in that group chat as well. <laughs> What if I did another flower here? That's kind of cute, right? I think. I don't know what constitutes as cute anymore. I kind of like this. Um, what do you mean by so she's just being a girl? Hold on a second. What the- I am cancelling you. Hold on a second there, Reaper. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's calm all horses. Let's calm all titties. <laughs> Let's calm our titties. <laughs> oh yeah, of course Duo will come back in when he hears the word freaking titties. What? 
Hey. <laughs> you want them? Oh, God. We're family friendly up in here. Family friendly. Jokes on you, I have no bobs. <laughs> I'm the Asian. I'm Asian. The only AIDS I have is on my report card. Oh no! Not that kind of Asian. <laughs> Duel is a gym, bro. I bet he does the boxing thing at the gym, but on titties. Hey, here's the question. Do guys like having titties? Like, they probably think it's like, oh, look at me. I'm so muscular. I've got, I don't know, pecs or whatever shit. I feel like guys probably like having titties, no? Wait, pecs, titties, aren't they the same thing? Is that not the same? Your legs are huge? Oh gosh, see, normally people skip leg day. You're just highly focused on leg day. You're highly, highly focused. You like leg day? Okay, this should look good. I hope. Yeah, I, I kind of like this. Symmetrical-ish. Ish. I hope. But if I put this here, will it look weird? Should I put it, like, off? I don't like it. Leg day is free calories burn, so it's easy. Yeah, 330 kilos on leg press for some reason. See, I don't even know what that means because I don't even go to the gym. I'm a twig. But that sounds like a lot. That sounds like a whole bunch. You used to walk in heeled boots uh, for hours in malls. You can crack a nut with my calves. I used to be that extra ass girl in high school that would wear heels to school. I don't understand. I don't even understand myself. And there's this like there's this part outside where um, in order to go from the language class to the science class, we had to like walk across this little garden thing and my heels would sink in the damn it's not really mud soil. It would sink in the damn soil all the goddamn time. So I'm like over there just like walking wobbly with my high heeled shoes when I was like seventeen. <laughs> Pretending I'm the hot shit. <laughs> wait, wait, do you also wear heeled shoes? Oh my lord. I don't understand my decisions when I was young. I feel like as I grow older, um, I just want to dress comfy. That's the thing. I used to be hot shit. I am no longer hot shit. I am just comfy shit. <laughs> You weigh a hundred pounds? Wait, who weighs a hundred pounds? Wait, you weigh a hundred. There's no way you weigh a hundred pounds. Oh, kilos, kilos, gotcha. Duel's at 82? Bro, I think I'm like 47. <laughs> I'm half the size. See, but it's like muscle, you know? I'm <laughs> moist critical build. Oh my god. I always did think that moist critical was like a... I don't want to say it. But like I didn't think that he was buff at all. 
And then I learned that he like does sports and everything. And I was like, wait, what? Since uh, when? Yeah, like you can't tell. You can't tell that he's jacked on his stream. Because he wears the, that white t-shirt. And his hair is, you know, like that. And his beard is like that. And then, and does he wear a cap? I can't, I can't recall. But it just, you know. No, I am not 47 pounds. Wait, let me let me check. I'm 47 kilograms. And I think that is... Is that 100 pounds? Yeah, I'm like 103 pounds. At my skinniest, bro, I was like... There was a time when I was super unhealthy last year. And I was at like 97 pounds. That was really bad. That was really, really bad. That was a low point in my life. That was last year. <laughs> it's like last year, like... June-ish or something. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. But I remember I was just, I was at a friend's wedding and we were all like doing a group photo and I was like wearing like something like a, like a spaghetti strapped kind of like a thin strapped kind of dress, like a silk dress. And I had my hair up in a bun. And I just remember like, I could just see like my, is this, is this my rib cage? It's not my rib cage. What, what is this called? The area with like, the, the the collar bones and everything and I, well I could probably you could probably see my ribcage as well but like all like the bones here like I could like you could see them like prominently like this is the collar bone but what's the sternum I don't know what the hell this is but you could see like the outline of it and everything don't this is not the scroll but yeah that was that was that was bad yeah yeah it, yes this is the scroll this is the scroll Jesus! No! <laughs> Wait, he's not jacked? He's fit. Stay in school, kids. <laughs> yeah, don't end up like him. <laughs> do I want to do a little thingy around here? Is that cute? Do I want to? I don't think I wanna. It could be cute. Wait, hold on. I followed you. Hmm. Do I want to put a thing all around here though? But that like severely decreases the walking space, and that's not cute at all. Maybe not. Okay, I'll just I'll just do this. I'll just do this. Guess what? I am probably meeting up with her on Sunday. You're so happy. Ooh, did you ask her out on a date or something? Aww, that's cute. Let us know how the date goes. Where are you gonna bring her though? Have you thought about date plans? Ooh. Fuck is that noise? Hmm, I guess this is kind of cute. Do we like this? Oh wait, where did my flower go? Hold. Gotta get this away. Oh, it's my flower. It's my favorite thing to do. You're taking her to the park for lunch. Oh, are you going to do a little picnic? It's adorable. It's adorable. I love young love. Ta-da! This is a thing, right? I'm sure. I just have to think, like, what do I do to connect this to this? Like, I want everything to kind of flow, you know? Maybe I could do more fish ponds? Definitely not this house. This house doesn't belong here. I just checked. I think that part of your body is called the manubrium sterni. Wait, so whoever said sternum, you said sternum. That, that's kind of close. It stir something. It stirred something, all right. <laughs> Time to get serious and stirred. <laughs> sterni. <laughs> um, I once rizzed the Batman. 
I was robbing banks as the Rizzler and the Batman came and I was like, damn, answer me, this Batman who has a billion dollars, has daddy and mommy issues and likes to be dark. This guy, Riz face with sexy sex sound. Oh, it's okay, Ray. I, I don't really understand dual either. <laughs> it, 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 it's okay, Ray. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Okay, guys, we have some news to talk about today. The first one being the most important news there is today. Think about it. Today, April 19th, what do you think is the most important news in the world? What do you think everyone in the world should be thinking about right this second? Have you seen Batman and me in the same room before? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Dante is Batman. That's nuts. That's nuts. What's the joke? I don't know. Where is this from? I feel like this is some like really like... We should be at Lizzo. Wait, Lizzo? Hold on. Is there some... Is there, is there drama with Lizzo? Hold on a second. Now you're making me think. Is there drama with Lizzo? You've been drawing thick little punny. Oh my god. Oh my Jesus. Okay. Wait, guys. No, that's not what you're supposed to think about. April 19th. It's Taylor Swift's new album is out. What the hell? Gu guys. Huh? We're supposed to be Swifties here. Wait, where is your Swiftiness? Where, where is everybody's Swiftiness here? Okay. With uh, Taylor Swift's new album. Hold on. I watch Heartbreak High. Nope. Lizzo looks like she only eats glizzo. What the? What's what's a glizzo? A glizzy? Like a hot dog? You know, you guys are not Swifties. Oh God. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my God. You all aren't Swifties. I don't know how to process this information. What's a fritillary bul bulb? Wait, but I'm not supposed to put flowers here. Um, I don't know if it's on my Netflix. To be honest, I haven't looked at my Netflix in a hot damn second. I'm paying the subscription, but like, what for? I don't, I, just, I don't even look at my Netflix. The relevancy in my subscription is for my mom. I haven't watched a show in five ever. I'm only Swifty when a Tay Tay song comes up. My finger has <gasps> No! I have not found the correct audience. Ooh, carrot seeds. I should do carrots and I need spring seeds. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Pineapples? No. Ooh, cauliflower? Wait. Yeah, cauliflower seeds. I wish I kind of organized it by like, is it type? Wait, I saw someone do like... Oh, but this is fall. Mm. I was about to say, I saw someone do a um, winery type of situation. And I want to do that too. The grape starter. But I'll do that in fall, I suppose. Your, your favorite character in this Heartbreak High show is Quinny. Why? What a coincidence. Because my dog is named Quinny. Why do you like Taylor Swift? I like the music. And I also like how she does all like the um the teasing stuff. I think I think that's really smart. Though to be honest, I haven't I haven't listened to the new music yet. I mean, I give y'all shit for it, but like I haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> I'll listen to it, I guess. Adulting means you have no time to look for niche stuff. True, true. Because of hey Kahuna, welcome in, welcome in. I know. Queen, Queen, Queen is the cutest. She's the cutest. Oh my god, she recently went to a little staycation um, at my friend's place. And my friend has a big golden retriever. And normally they don't uh, play together. I don't know why. Quinn plays with everybody. But she just, for some reason, just doesn't play together with that golden retriever. But then during this recent staycation, um, they did play together. I was so happy, y'all. I was so, so happy. And it was so cute. They were like running in the yard together and stuff. And I swear to God, the next day, I think she was 
slightly depressed. Like, I think she, like, really wanted to go play with the dog again. And then she was just disappointed that she was just staying at home and not with the dog. So she got, like, really sad. And I was like, I'm sorry, but I can't bring you to see the Golden Retriever every single day. She did get dog pressure. She did. <laughs> when you said the Quinny stuff, it kind of gave me heart of Queen. But oh my god, Loki, whenever I tell people that her name is Quinn, I always have to follow up with, like Harley Quinn, you know? Her name is Quinn, like Harley Quinn. Because the amount of people that have just been like, oh, like, like, oh my god, Queen, like the royalty Queen. Oh, Queen, more like Princess. Oh my lord. And then I'm just like, no, her name is Quinn, like Harley Quinn. Sometimes I just like don't even bother correcting them. I'm just like, yeah, yeah, it's just like that. I just don't bother. This is cute. Okay, I like this. I really like this. Am I doing this right? Nope. Wait, cheating? Uh, well, I mean, no, look away, look away. I'm not cheating. I can't cheat. Okay, this is not it. This is... There we go. Not Harley Davidson? No! Where is the Quinn and Harley Davidson? <laughs> One thing here and then... Boop. 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 Cheater! Oh, fake! How dare you! Also, welcome in. How's it going? Yeah, it's Queen, uh, definitely for sure. Go on for the rest of your never knowing the lore. <laughs> I just give up, honestly. I'm just like, you know what? You, you think what you want. Especially for people that, like, I know I'm never going to meet again. I'm just like, okay, yes, just go ahead. Just, just think it's Queen. Go, go ahead. God damn it. Okay, there we go. All girls cheat? Okay, hold on a quick second, Reaper, all right? Hold on a quick second. You're bored, send help? No, why are you bored? Play some Stardew Valley. Uh, Randy, hi, welcome in. How's it going? Go to the gym. Okay, th that's the last thing anyone would want to do if they're bored. Okay, that's the last goddamn thing. Go to the gym. Who do you think we are? <laughs> you want to watch horror? Ooh, I mean, you could do it. I'm just, I'm just gonna sit out of that. I'm just gonna, you know. The last time I watched a proper proper horror movie was in high school. Um, and I was, I had, I had these earphones in. I remember very clearly. I was blasting music. I don't know, like Justin Timberlake or some shiz like that. Okay. It's blasting music. I was hiding behind a cushion. And I was like, I had this in. And I, my eyes were closed and I was hiding behind a cushion. And I stayed like that for two hours. Throughout the entirety of the movie, I was just like that. Entirety. I hate watching horror movies. No. I get so, so scared I wouldn't even dare shower by myself. Honestly... Like, I want to ask my mom or my sister, can, like, can you just sit in, like, the shower and just, like, you know, accompany me? <laughs> I mean, it's just, I don't shower with anybody. I just ask my, my, my mom if, you know, she'll like to stay in the shower. With, she says no, but, you know, I ask. <laughs> I'm scared, okay? Leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> oh wait hold on mm, do i want to do one more hold on
I sadly don't get scared with horror, but I need to watch horror with someone because I like hearing someone scream in terror. Wait, okay, so even if you're with someone, but like the what if the person is just not scared of horror as well? It doesn't work. You need to hear freaking screams. You psycho. <laughs> you psychopath. Okay, I think I need one more here. No, wait, but this one goes all... Wait, what? Oh, because this at the end has two. Oh, I messed up. I need two. No, I need two. This has to be symmetrical. This will, this will kill me if it's not. This has two at the end. Okay, there we go. This is better. Number three, and then keep one there, and then one, two, and then one, two, and then one, two. You only want to watch someone with someone who's a scaredy cat? What the hell? That's, that's psychotic. That's psychotic. Do you have people like that though? I feel like actually most people that I know, they're actually not scared of horror. Like I'm the one that's like a wuss and just being like, oh, I can't watch horror movies, guys, sorry. But like I actually have like a lot of friends that's just like, hey, what is, we should watch some horror show this week. I'm like, what? Why? I'm like, are you nuts? Are you kidding? Are you nutsos? This? I guess this works. Wait, or do I want to do like one more extra? No, I did one row there. Okay, fine. This is good. This is fine. Wait, this looks too long now. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Hold on. Two, two. Wait, this is definitely one extra. Yeah, I guess this works. Yeah. I love fear, but I don't experience it enough. Wait, wait. You want to experience fear? I think it's because I actually feel something from it. I think that's that's the way I feel, but for roller coasters. You know, that's the way I feel, but for roller coasters. But then again, I don't want to go on those like super, super scary roller coasters. Like, you know, the, the ones that the right that I hate the most at a theme park is the pirate ship one. Like, you know, at the theme park, they always have this pirate ship ride where it just goes like up and then down, up and then down. Oh, I don't like that. I really don't like that. Like, especially with, like, the feeling when it goes down and then you literally feel, like, your heart drop. Oh, oh my god, that's the worst feeling ever. I don't like it. You got your horror fascination from Shia LaBeouf. Uh, to be honest, him and Disturbia threw me into the path of serial killers and horror. Wait, so not only do you share, guys share the same birthday, but you also have him to thank for your horror fascination. Only time I get real fear is during parademon dreams. But that's gone too, sadly. I had a dream last night that scared the bejesus out of me. Also, hey five, welcome in and thank you so much for the hydrate redeem. How are ya? Cheers! Okay, here's the story about my nightmare last night, okay? I had a nightmare that I was some sort of random ass humanitarian or some shit like that. I don't really know what I was. Okay, but um, I had gone to this house that was neglecting puppies and dogs. Um, and I, I went to the house and I rescued those dogs. And, you know, to, to rescue the dogs and everything, I put them in like a little box. Okay, I put these dogs in the box and I put them and I brought them to my house. For some reason... I just forgot that they were in the box. And then until like a week later, where I'm just like, fuck, I have puppies in the box. And then I go see them and they're dead because I forgot to feed them. 
let them out anything so i could be so i had boxes of puppies that were dead and i i i was so scared and i was so traumatized that i woke up in a cold sweat that 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 was my nightmare last night. Holy shit! That was, I could not even. Then I had I woke up. It was I remember it was four thirty one a.m. And then, uh, I like woke up. The cold sweat. I saw my dog next to me and I hugged her. I was like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll never forget you. <laughs> oh my god! Like you don't understand. Because I woke up and I thought it was still real. I thought that I had actually killed puppies. And so I was just like, what the fuck am I going to do? Like, you know, how am I going to, I'm going to go to jail. Like, you know, what am I going to, like, I was, I was like, what would, what do you even do? What do you even do? You know, I was like, I can't throw them in the trash. Like that's, I can't do that. Like, what do I, do I like go, go, go burn them? But like, you know, like, what, what, what am I going to do with these dead puppies? I felt so bad. Have you ever had those dreams where you felt, where they felt so real that you get, like gaslight yourself into thinking it's real? Oh yeah, hundred percent. That's a hundred percent happened to me before too. That's because you have pets. When I was a boy, I would always have dreams about forgetting to refill. Oh, a bird boy. About forgetting to refill the water or seats. Yeah. Like, the thing in, in my dream, Quinn was still there. So, like, you know, I had Quinn with me happily trotting around and stuff. But I just forgot about puppies in a box. And it wasn't just one box of puppies, mind you. It was a lot of goddamn puppies in boxes. Man, that was, that was traumatic. I never, oh god. If, that, if I ever did that, just, just arrest me right then and there. Just arrest me. To be honest, just throw me in jail at that point. Okay? <laughs> I didn't mean to, guys. I didn't mean to. <laughs> what do you do? You never eat what you had for dinner last night. Feed a cat. Oh, God. More of all burns the evidence. But I was honestly thinking that. I was like thinking, okay, I can't throw them in the trash because like they're, cart they're in carton boxes. Like the cleaner is going to like, you know, you know how like normally what they'll do is that they will like uh, cut open like the cart the carton boxes to like flatten it and stuff. I was like, the cleaner's gonna see that I have dead puppies in the carton boxes. I can't put I can't throw them in the trash. I was like, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh god, that was that was my critical um thinking ability, and I've completely failed, hundred percent, completely failed. Did you just call me a Voella Deville? Voella Deville, Voella Deville. Hey, I didn't even think about skinning them for a coat, okay? I didn't think about that. Feed them to pi wait, pigs? Wait, seriously? Like like a whole dead puppy? No, like, I don't even want to think about dead puppies. I feel sick. I feel sick. Oh, that was bad. That was bad, bad, bad. Okay, I'm thinking maybe we could put more fish ponds here, to be honest. Like, what else do I put in this area? You know, I don't really have anything. But this is so cute. I had a dream and somehow convinced myself that I didn't know my client's rostering today. So like, I thought I had a completely different roster. So I woke up at 4 a.m. and checked my phone and I was convinced my work phone was wrong. <laughs> You're like, that can't be right. But I was just thinking about that can't be right. <laughs> Murderers get rid of evidence like this, but they still get caught sometimes because of the teeth. Well, just get rid of the teeth. Throw it at the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, Reaper, Reaper knows from experience. <laughs> Reaper knows from experience. They just say sad, could have made steak. What? Fake! What the damn hell? Holds two steps to say. You know why I thought about that? It's because, you know the, that TV show Dynasty? You don't see that girl every time. No, no, not that show. The 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 one with like the rich ass people from Atlanta. That one. Um, apparently, someone I don't know who in the family had committed murder, and then they had thrown the body in like the lake behind the mansion. Which like, come on, like 
threw it in another lake. Why the lake behind the damn mansion? He's bound to get caught. Hey, Konami. Hi, hi. Welcome in. How's it going? Happy uh, Taylor Swift's new album day. I'm the only one here that cares. <laughs> We've all watched too much Dexter. I mean, okay. Wait, have you guys ever thought about how you would get away with murder? I think about it all the time. What's your preferred method of disposing a body roll? Okay. I thought about chopping it up before. But then I recently watched this um, like true crime story. It's like it's, This is true, right? About this like Japanese guy who literally like murdered people in like a hotel room or a room or something. And then he actually dismembered them. And he talked about how hard it was to dismember these people. So I think that's off the table. Um, I think, oh, I think, okay, what I would do actually is I would bury them, but I would give them like a headstone. So I, I would give them a headstone, bury them. So it seems like it's like a proper burial type of thing, but I'll give them like another name. I'll give them like a fake name. I don't know, obviously I won't put the real name. What am I, stupid? You know, so I'll like, I'll bury them. Like I'll, I'll put flowers there and everything. Like I make it seem as though like people go there and like, you know, visit quite frequently and stuff. Like I'll make it look like a proper burial site. And then maybe I'll put like several other headstones next to it as well to make it seem more believable. You know? Maybe the headstone is going to be like super old or something like that. Like I'll somehow like commission like a really old headstone. Bye, Ray. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Try to drink my gym bro shake and falls. Thank you. What? You never thought about this before? Make a whole cemetery out of that one body. <laughs> yeah, I start putting gates around it and stuff. You know, do the whole jazz. <laughs> Elliot, thank you so much for the raid. Hi, hi. Welcome in, Raiders. Let me give you a shout out. Y'all came in at a perfect time. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Milk. Let's give you this one as well. How was Hill Divers 2? Welcome in, Raiders. My name is Volclair. I'm a variety streamer. I play lots of comfy, cozy games like Stardew Valley. I play Animal Crossing, um, Zelda, and Pokemon sometimes. So welcome in. Y'all came at a time when we were talking about um, how to get away with murder. <laughs> and what our preferred way is of um, disposing a body. So if anyone um, would like to chime in on that, you're more than welcome to. But Elliot, how was your stream? Was you the new PC game was Oh my gosh, yes, I remember you got a new PC as well. The, the freaking expensive and bloody like decked out PC. Oh my god, I'm so jealous. Your stamina is so short, so I must run away, but I have to get you. But thank you, thank you so much, Elliot. I super appreciate it. If you guys haven't already given Elliot a huge follow, please be sure to do so. And check out the next stream as well. We love Elliot up in here. Uh, they're always a big part of the community. So please go check out their stream and, uh, and go watch them live the next time they are live. I don't know what I'm saying. But yes, yeah, that. What is Deathly T? All right, see ya, Reaper. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, see you next time. <laughs> Readers, tell us how you would dispose of a body. <laughs> that that is that is a um what you call it an icebreaker. That's for sure. Like okay, fine. Next time next time I see someone for the first time, I'm just gonna ask them like, hey, how would you dispose of a body? They'd be like what? They'd be like yeah, how would you? Did I stutter? How would you dispose of a body? Did I fucking stutter? <laughs> yeah. I just saw this news tonight. Okay, wait, what is it? I, I have a bunch of topics as well that I want to cover. I have it on my phone. Okay, I don't have a lot of space here, but I do want to kind of bring this over. Ooh! Not the tree. Oh, I can't do that. Wait, what? Okay, that works. Do I want to make it here? 
like this. Okay, this kind of cute. This kind of cute. Okay. Wait, you would just run towards the police station. Oh, like you murder someone and then you run towards the police station and tell them you found a dead body? Is that it? Okay, a lady in Brazil tried to use her either dad slash husband's corpse to take out a loan. Oh my god, I've seen this. Okay, to take out a loan in his name. Hours after he had died and she had wheeled his body into the bank. Oh my god, I remember. I, I saw this video on TikTok. That is, it's nuts, okay, y'all? Okay, so if you guys don't know what happened, literally, there's just this woman. She is wheeling a whole ass corpse into the bank and she tries to take out a loan in that person's name. Mind you, this person's dead, okay? So he's like this and then his head is like this. Like, it's just rolling back like that the whole time. And she's just, like, you know, trying to, like, oh, well, like, you know, sign, like, trying to put his arm there to, like, make him sign. But she just ends up kind of, like, trying to sign it herself or something. I don't know. I don't know what her thought process was, okay? It's fucked up. All right. And I saw, like, the version uh, where they uh, didn't censor the dead body. And I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. It's bad. It is bad, bad. Yeah, I saw that one. Like, he, like, it really looked like a corpse. Like, not get, I don't know how she thought she would get away with it. She's just like, you know what? You look alive enough. No, he, he, he really did not look alive enough. Okay, mind you. All right. Yeah, his head was just like this the whole time. And his, like, skin was, like, turning, like, gray. Yeah, there, there, there. Oh, you didn't know there was a blurred version. Oh, you saw the unblurred one as well? Wait, fair. It's bad. Is going through rigor mortis, yeah, hundred percent. Can you imagine? Like he was probably like starting to stink as well too. No, I remember like hearing about how, um, within a few, like, the fuck, You're getting robbed or something. What's happening there? Um, but yeah, within a few like hours after you die, like you know your body starts to give out the gas or something, and that's what makes it smell really bad. Oh, if it falls being haunted. L low key, I think we have a ghost in our office. I'm not kidding. I think we have a ghost in our office. I have a story for this. I have a story time. So basically, um, we store a lot of our stuff. Like we have a storeroom, a, a level below where we normally sit in our office. Okay. And it's like, it's part of like a whole warehouse situation and it's like really dark and everything as well. But you know, like we'll have to go in and turn on the lights and everything like that. And one of the teams swear to God, they said that they saw a ghost in there. They said that, um, all of a sudden like boxes would fall for no reason. Um, they like would see like a shadow pass by them, like super fast and stuff they're like oh my god like did you see that like oh my god what was that and then apparently like y'all know that apparently there are some people that can see ghosts i don't know like how you know true this is or whatever or if they're just like joshing around but apparently like some people can see ghosts and so they brought down one of the colleagues that claims that she could see ghosts and she was like yeah there's a woman in here so yeah there's a there's a, a ghost in our in our um in our storeroom Apparently, that really likes beauty products or something. I don't know. Your sister can see ghosts. I'm kind of jelly. Wait, like, is it true, though? And, like, how do the ghosts usually look? I have I've so many questions. I don't know anybody personally that can see ghosts. Go to some investigating vault. See, that's the thing. I think I'm so oblivious. that Because I've been in that storeroom, like, so many times. Alone, with other people. Uh, Blonder, thank you. Bl blue, blue Ander? Blue Ender, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How's it going? But yeah, I, I've been in there so many times, and I'm just like, well, I feel like I'm very oblivious. A <laughs> uh, gay melee, melee. Welcome, welcome in. Got to go in there with one of those gadgets. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters. <laughs> But honestly. I think there's something there. So now everybody's scared to go to the storeroom. Right? So I'm just like, well, you know, 
I'm so oblivious that maybe maybe the ghost has tried to get my attention before, but they never really could because I was just so like, huh, what, what happened? Ah, uh, something just fell. Whatever. It's probably because its box was really heavy. We used to rent a house that we didn't know was haunted. There's this doppelganger that copies our ground. Wait, they can copy people? They can shapeshift? Well, shit, I want to be a ghost. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Touch wood. Don't want to be a ghost. Don't want to be a ghost. Don't want to be a ghost. But, like, that's crazy that a ghost can shapeshift. That's nuts. What if I put a white version here? Hmm. Do we like that? Is that a vibe? I don't think I like that. All right, ghost. I can't say Ghostbusters for legal reasons, but I can still Ghostbust a nut. I mean, what? Huh? What? Uh, hold on. Duel? Uh, uh, what? Hello? I've lived in super old houses my whole life. I've never seen a ghost, but very weird things have happened. I definitely believe in ghosts. I think they do exist. They have to exist. There's no way they don't. There's no way that ghosts don't exist, you know? Just like I think aliens exist too. I think both of them exist. But it's just, it's just really creepy when shit happens. I mean, some of you guys have probably heard about my um, ghost stories that happened. Uh, the ghost story that happened while I was in Korea. And if you don't know that one, it's actually highlighted on my page. So you can, you can check that out. But essentially, in a nutshell, I swear to God, I had a ghost in my hotel room when I was in Korea. I swear to freaking God. Uh, where am I going to? Carpenter. Like, I legit saw something at the side of my bed. And then I just kept the TV on the whole night. Just kept the TV on, you know. Um, Melee Mirror, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome in. How's it going? I'm thinking we do a fish pond. Oh, I have so many fish ponds though. Do I want to do a cabin? It's not like I'll get a friend, but... You know what? No, I'll do a fish pond. Seaweed, stone, green algae. But when you get super famous from streaming, invite us all for a ghost busting stream. I think about it sometimes. I'm just like, wow, if I became like a huge top, 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 top 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.0001% streamer, like if I was the next Pokimane, what would I do? I think about that so often. But yes, yeah. I would definitely do IRL streams because then I would have the money to do IRL streams. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't have the money. I don't have the backpack. I don't have the nothing. Nah. Don't sell cookies, but it's actually a really smart move on her. I think she just kind of went about it. Like, she shouldn't have really responded to um, the critics. But it's kind of smart because um, the cookies, when they're in grocery stores, people will still buy them. And they won't even know who the hell Pokimane is. You know, if they are in grocery stores. I don't know if she is in grocery stores. But if she is in grocery stores, that's kind of like a whole other source of revenue that doesn't have to depend on her and herself. So. Call me poor, please. I just like, what the heck? We'll keep you grounded. Yes, please. I'm gonna be so grounded. Y'all best believe me. <laughs> okay, Bailey, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome, welcome in. I appreciate it. Um, But yeah, I think about it all the time. I'm just like, ooh, what kind of famous person would I be? Would I be like... A ninja where I'm like, here's my streaming master class. Um, would I be like an XQC? Would I buy a McLaren and not even have a driver's license? Because I don't have a driver's license, guys. I, I, re I really don't. And um, who, would I be, I don't know, freaking Hassan? Buy a mansion? 
like what kind of what kind of rich person would I be? I'm you but stronger. Oh, challenge throne. <laughs> You're doing a Joja Stardew save because I never have while I wait for the update to come out on console. Wait, a Joja Stardew save. Wait, are you doing this on console as well? Ah, oh, because I have such a good mod for you if you did this on PC or on a thing where you can do mods. But can, can you do mods? If you can do mods, bro, I have the best mod for you just for a Joja Stardew run. I'm gonna pull it out for you to see. It's so good. You're a console. Oh man. Okay, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway, because this is this is some great shit. Basically, it is a mod that allows you to change the look of your farmhouse. And if you're doing a Jojo run, let's just say this one's gonna be perfect for you. Hold. Introducing the Jojo farmhouse. Yes, you've heard that first. You can now change your farmhouse to be just like a Joja store. Have you ever wished to stay in Joja store? Do you just love the look of the cold corporateness of it? Well, now you can. Um, not only can your farmhouse be turned into a Joja store uh, with tons of Joja cans apparently on the roof, uh, but you know, even your greenhouse can become a Joja store. Anything at all can be a Joja store. If you just put your heart and mind to it. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I saw that. I saw that the other day and I was like, this is this is golden. This is freaking golden. My, my character is a corporate shrill, but not that much. <laughs> Your form is called... Wait, am I pronouncing this right? Bourgeois? Bourgeois? Like bougie? I can't drive, but um, I have a car that uses PlayStation controller to drive. Wait, what? Wait, is this like that submersible type from the Titanic, but a car instead? Are you trying to have the same fate as that submersible? What the hell? Because they too use the PlayStation controller. They also use that. Hey Aiden! How's it going? Dropping in to say hello, hello! Can you believe that I almost finished the first week of internship? The last time we were here, we were talking about the interview. Seven weeks left, six if I don't count the last week, because we won't be working on the last week. That week is for finishing the report paper and getting it signed. Oh my gosh, wait! How was it? Can, can, you, can you stay and, and chat? How was your first week of the internship? It's, it's okay if, if you can't stay in chat though. I totally understand. You're probably like super tired from your internship and stuff. Where's my dog? Oh, there she is. Oh my god, I almost rolled over her. Am I rolling over you? Are you okay? Just don't sit so close to the goddamn wheels. Okay. Bougie is sort for bourgeois. Bourgeoisie. Um, where is my fish pond? Let's do a fish pond. Ooh. Bull trying to kill a dog. No! Bruh, I have enough nightmares as is. Okay, I can't do it there. I'll just do it like... Uh... Here? I suppose? I can move it later. Hey, Blueberry! How's it going? How are you? Who said that? Yeah, don't know who said that. Who the hell? Lethal Company is filled with man-made horrors beyond comprehension. Wait, I've actually never played Lethal Company before. But I know it was like the, the, the big thing. Um, like last month, I think. Like everyone was playing it. Oh, maybe two months ago, actually. Lethal Company is good. Isn't it a horror as well? Um, my shift is four hours a day, but the company only scheduled me two hours of work and the other two is work. 
um, according to my advisor, but he rarely assigns me anything. The work itself is not that hard. I need to adjust to working six days a week. Yeah, that's the thing. I actually couldn't believe because um, my dad works in Thailand and apparently like they have to sometimes work six day weeks as well. Like sometimes he has to work on a Saturday. I'm like, what? I'm like, how is that legal? But like, apparently it is. Apparently it is legal. I, I, I didn't know that places still made you work on Saturdays sometimes. Like, that's that's nuts to me. That's nuts. Okay, let's go back to the farm. It's super fun with a group of friends, and it's more uh, suspense with a few jump scares mixed in. It's very silly, to be honest. The monsters aren't actually scary. Well, that's, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. I remember playing my, my fair share of horror games a while back, but it's been a while since I played those, to be honest. Um, but I just remember, like, my throat would be so sore just from screaming the whole time. Man, it's, it, was, it was bad. And that's when I decided to shift to the cozy, the coziness. Horror stream went never, never again. Well, okay, I can't, I can't, never say never, never say never. I might, I might, but um, it'll be a long time. It'll, you gotta wait a long time for that, man. I'll put something over here. Is there not some flooring that I could put there? A wood floor, a straw floor. Rustic plank floor? It's a rustic plank. Stone walkway floor. Okay, let's try these. What about a rustic plank? I don't like that. No! My little flower. There. There we go. Um, stone flooring. Oh! This is like a whole thing. No, I don't like that. Maybe this? Do I like this? I don't know if I like this. Hmm. May I ask what color, uh, recolor reshade you are using? Yes, I am using... What am I using? Um, I am using Vibrant Pastoral Recolor and Natural Color Reshade. So most of my mods are listed here um, if you want to check it out. But there are some that's not in here because I just downloaded a, a few more furniture. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I need, I need to update it again. Her game can be cozy for me. Oh my god. Your farm is a freaking beautiful. Ah, thank you, Mira. Thank you, thank you. Um, I was quite anxious, tired, nauseous, and restless. But I do think I will get better after this week of uh, next week. Because that's how long I need to adapt to things. I think I need like a good six months to adapt to things, honestly. It's nearly midnight. Should I get something to eat? Absolutely. You should get... Um, what is a good thing to eat at midnight? Oh my god. Instant noodles. Bruh. Get some ramen. Yeah, get some ramen. That's the best. That's the best decision ever. Go get ramen. Order some burgers. Ooh, burgers are good too. Burgers sound good. Oh, and fries. Ooh, nothing it hits different. Mid midnight fries just hits different, man. Pizza. Pizza. Basically, like... Guilty pleasures. Just fried food. Fried food. Fried chicken. Oh, get some KFC fries. Oh, I want some KFC right now. What do I have for dinner? Oh, I had a salad for dinner. Yeah, now I want fries. Now I want fries. Oh, thank you, Aiden. Oh, there's my mod. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, now I want fries. Dang it. 
I've screwed myself. Now I just want fries. And I can't get them. I do have chips. I have chips. Does that count? Oh, I can put an outdoor oven here. <laughs> Does this make sense? Does an outdoor oven over here even make any sense whatsoever? I don't think it does, but you know, we're gonna go with that. We're just gonna, we're just gonna go with this. Yeah. Should I just make this whole thing like a wooden deck instead? I start work at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Honestly, I love uh, these weekend shifts in the morning. Wait, you love it? Are you being sarcastic? 8 a.m. tomorrow and you like it. Like, you're like the only person I've ever known that would like that. 8 a.m. on a Saturday. But I mean, it's good that you like it, you know? It, it's good that you like it. Do you like morning shifts because um, then you would have the rest of the day free? That's what I kind of think about. Here's the thing, okay? And I've thought about it. If I ever became like a super huge streamer, like, you know, and it was like my full-time job and I quit my actual job just for streaming, I would prefer to do a morning stream rather than like a later stream. Just because I think it would, you know, it frees up the rest of my days to do other stuff. I like to cuddle up in the evening. Yeah, same. I like to just forget about shit. <laughs> okay, I like this, this outdoor oven concept thing. I think that's kind of cute. But I don't know if this is working out very well. What happens if I just put this all like as the wooden flooring? Okay, let's let's find out. I don't know if I like this floor. Here's the thing with Stardew Valley, and I actually prefer decorating in this so much more than um, Animal Crossing. It's just so much easier to change things up, you know. Like if if you if you don't like something or whatever, you can just change it up super easily. And I need to keep this. If you were super fucking rich, you should pay me as a mod and I don't have to. Oh my god, 100%. I, I would pay mods. It's just having to think about. And I've thought about this before. Um, and I've also heard bigger streamers talk about this before. About how they, they also don't really know how to pay mods. Because if you pay them by like you know, how many, like, I don't know, actions that they do, like, how many people they banned. It's just incentivizing them to ban people, which is, like, kind of, like, not appropriate. Like, it's not great. It's not, like, a good thing. But then if you, like, pay them based off of... If you just pay them, like, a, like a normal base rate, then what if people don't come in? What if the mods don't come in and they don't do any work? You know? that That's what I heard, think I heard Ludwig talk about as well. Um, previously, like how much he pays his mod and everything. Okay, I think I like this better. I definitely like this better. I think I'll get rid of the flower. I love the flower, but we gotta get rid of it. It just doesn't make sense here. No! Shoot. I'm messing things up. Did you just say three Bitcoin per ban? <laughs> you can pay me with your love and friendship. Oh, you know I already have that. VIP's $50 per hour. Okay, well, hold on, hold on a second. What do you mean by mods get a chip from a packet? per hour, but then VIPs apparently get 50 an hour. What? Huh? Excuse you. No. Uh-oh. I can't move this now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. Wait, hold on a sec. Oh, there we go. Okay, this kind of works, I think. Ish. 
for like a little oh then this table could be used for the outdoor thing ah oh my god i'm so smart <laughs> terraforming and animal crossing takes so much time like i still haven't done with flattening about it yeah that's why i didn't even bother that's why in my animal crossing island i didn't even bother with terraforming because i just i i can't i can't do it i honestly can't do it I like mornings, even though it's too hot. To uh, it's too hot here. I'm like craving grilled alive. <laughs> VIP my ass. <laughs> fight, fight, fight. <laughs> I'll make tons of new accounts for you to ban them, Aiden, so you can earn and give me share. Can you imagine that? For example, let's say if a streamer paid their mod based off of how many bans or timeouts they did. What if the mod just decides to like, um, what's it called? Hate raid? No, not hate raid. Bot raid? Follow bot raid? The streamer? Yo, that's messed up. <laughs> like, imagine if they did that, because then they'll have hundreds of accounts to ban. And it's like, well, you know, gotta ban that account. Oops. <laughs> Which, like, you know, messed up, but still. Hey, maybe if I was a mod, I would totally do that. I, I would, would I rig the system to be in my favor like this? Absolutely, freaking lutely I would. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want to move the chair, but I don't want to, like, cut off my dog's leg. Okay, this is good. Yeah, I don't have that bot. I actually do want to get it because I have been seeing a lot of people on Twitter talk about how they... Um, they've been like follow bought it like a, a lot recently i think um they were saying that people especially in the unite um category has been uh, getting follow bought a lot i don't I, is it pokemon unite what, what is unite i have no idea but um that's what i heard bot rates are so funny because why are you paying to do that exactly like do people just have way too much money or something like, give me the money. Hell, I shit, I don't know. Give me the money. I, I could use the money. I will put the money to good ass use. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm gonna put it to good use. No one cares about Yu-Gi-Oh! Never been bought it. I feel like it's probably those, like, bigger categories. Banasaker. Banasaker? Banana Massacre? Huh? Aiden, I don't get it. <laughs> but Aiden, I, I, don't, I don't get it, man. Guess who got fed up and got an AC installed in your room? No more sweaty Aiden. <gasps> yes! Oh my god, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy for you. Finally, you deserve this. You deserve AC in your life. I thought about it, and that's a no. Let's see what else is there. Some categories are targeted a bit more than others, but Seribot is fantastic for getting rid of bots, and you don't have to do anything beyond the initial setup, and it's free. Yeah, I do I do know that I have to get on it, but um, oops. I just um, am a little bit lazy, but I have to. I know I know I have to. I know I have to. I thankfully, thankfully, touch on wood, have never been full of bot before. Oh, but there was a time where I thought I was full of bot it. And I, I, was, I, was, I was panicking. I was panicking. I was like, oh my god, okay. Um, I, th I think, okay, I was like, okay, I think I'm getting full of bot. Because I was getting like lots and lots of follows, like back to back to back to back. I was like, shit, okay. I was like, oh my god, I'm being full of bot. I was like, okay, this is my first time for everything. So I, I have like little things on my little um, stream deck. I have... Um, uh, wow, where'd they go? I have, like, clear chat. I have, like, shield. I have, like, um, sub mode only. So I was, like, prepared to press all of those shiz. And then, <laughs> and then there were some people in my chat. They're like, wait, wait, stop. It was a streamer that shouted you out. <laughs> and I was like, wait, what? They're like, oh, no, it's, like, this, this Pokemon streamer. They were shouting you out. That's why, like, you suddenly got, like, a whole bunch of, um, follows. And I was like, oh, I was like, oh, okay. Oh, my God, I thought I was getting follow about it. <laughs> So I thought last year, yeah, I, I still never got it. It's my bad, my bad. 
I, I will, I will get it. I will. Um, yeah. I will, I will, I will. Don't worry, I will. <laughs> uh, you know, you see. Soon, soon, I'll, I'll get it soon. Don't worry about it. I um, remember Alyssa got follow bot and she was using Commander Root to get rid of them and she lost like 700 followers because she accidentally deleted it. Wait, so she accidentally deleted like real followers? Oh my god, I think I would cry if that happened. I think I would cry. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god, I feel so bad for her. Let's play it again. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, this wheelbarrow is cute. Nearly a whole follower list. Oh my god. So this was probably when she was first starting out, right? Yeah, I, I did hear that um, Commander Root, like, you gotta be careful with that one and don't, like, you know, just um, kill off your entire uh, follow list and everything. So I did also hear that um, Twitch would kind of help to automatically remove the bots from time to time. So, like, a lot of people were advising, like, oh, don't, don't do anything. Because Twitch will just do it because you don't want to accidentally do what basically Alyssa did. You're heading to bed alrighty. Oh my gosh, you're going to eat breakfast and stuff later. Yes, please do. And I hope you have a great day at work at your shift tomorrow. Sorry, your internship. Um, hope you have a great day tomorrow and have fun. Have a good night's sleep. Bye, boy. Thanks for chilling and hanging out with us, Aiden. I'll see you next time. Alyssa's going to meet Dan Clancy at TwitchCon Europe. Oh, wow. Is Dan doing like a, a like, a, like actually meeting him? Or is it like the, those kind of like convention stuff? That's so cool. I did see that DJ Clancy, shout out to uh, CEO of Twitch, is actually doing like an Asian tour. Like he's going to Japan and Taiwan. Like I, ju I just saw it on the Twitch um, Instagram right before I went live. DJ, oh, that's gone. That's Taylor Swift. Where is it? Okay, yes. Dan ditches the van to fly to Tokyo, April 19th to 21st. So that's like now. Wait, that's now. He's probably live right now. He's doing a Tokyo IRL stream and doing some other stuff with like Japanese streamers. That's so cool. He's actually just going to be like hanging out with like Japanese streamers. And he's going to Taiwan, doing like a bike ride and stuff with Taiwanese streamers. And he's, oh, he's going to Melbourne. He's going to Melbourne. That's so cool. Melbourne, Melbourne. That's really cool. Love that. He's scheduling to be in some people's streams at TwitchCon. Wow. So she's going to stream at TwitchCon? Oh my gosh, she's going to do an IRL stream? That's nuts. I respect people who can do an IRL stream. I, I, don't, I don't know if I'll like, even know like, of the proper equipment to do that. Oh, an outdoor bar. That's cute. That's cute. I like that. And then like a little bench here, maybe. Or a small table. Dan is the best CEO Twitch has ever had, I feel. Um, I think so too. And the reason why I think that is because he is a streamer as well. Like he understands the problems because he streams as well. And he knows like what needs to change and everything. I think he's super in tune with that. And that's what makes him a good CEO. Like a lot of the times CEOs and big shot people, they don't understand the problems of their customers or anyone else because they don't they either don't use the product themselves or there's some other reason but they just don't understand because of that this is super cute i want to use this somewhere he's not a corporate suit exactly yeah he's not he's not over here just like only thinking about bringing in the cash which is important yes definitely they have to think about how to bring in the cash as well but they also understand that um, in order to have the company to survive, they need to think about longevity and they need to think about the creators and the people who um, basically make your platform. Like without the creators, like, you know, there's no one to watch. Like, what are you even watching on Twitch, you know? 
So he understands that. And that's what I like. That's what I like about him, you know? He's smart. I don't think I'll be able to do what he does. Uh-uh. And they've got to... They had to make some tough calls and decisions as well, which is rough. Like, the whole thing with, like, closing of, like, the Twitch Korea and everything like that. Like, oh, yikes. Would I be able to make the call? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. This is super cute. I could put this here, but... Oh, wait. This is small. Okay. Maybe I have to... Ooh, this is way too big. This is way too big. That is way too big. That is way too small. We need something just nice. Did you hear about the Google layoffs after a protest? Oh my gosh, no, I didn't. Wait, did they get laid off because or of a protest? Or did they protest because of a layoff? I was like, sheesh. What? Clothes rack? Not really. I'm thinking more of like a little hangout area. Ooh, maybe like chairs with... Maybe like a chair, like a bench. I have a lot of benches though. Ooh, what if I did a swing? Put the fairy swing here. Is this too much? Like a little fairy swing? Okay, that's a little much. I don't like that. I think a bench. Some form of a bench here. I kind of like this garden bench, to be honest. I like that. And then we put like a little table of like flowers or something. A pot. A pot of flowers. Just flower, maybe? Um, let's see... This, I think, can be turned into other stuff. Oh, no, it can't. Whoops. Maybe just plant? We have a lot of plants here. Um, let's see. Seasonal plant? Mm, not eggplant. <laughs> House plant. That's kind of cute. Okay, let's let's have some options. This, this, this. Maybe this? Oh, it could be... Ooh. It's kind of cute. Don't like the red, though. What about if it was this? Maybe is it the same thing? Oh yeah, it is the same thing. In that case, what about if we did this? Is this the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. Darn. Okay, what about this? It's kind of sad, isn't it? It's kind of sad and small. Let's do that instead. Hey, Ducky, welcome in. How's it going? Uh, they were protesting in an office or something and Google said, fuck y'all, you can get jobs elsewhere. <laughs> oh my God, that's brutal. <laughs> because, okay, here's the thing about a huge company like Google. Everyone wants to work at Google, right? Like they have the luxury of uh, choice. So it's not like they're gonna be out here hurting because, oh no, they laid off a few people. Like, People are going to jump at the opportunity to work for Google. Because the pay is good. The benefits are good. Like, everything's good. Except maybe, like, the working hours and stuff. But then, you know, like, that's kind of a trade-off. <laughs> Not the eggplant. So, I remember I want to try the Pokemon Fusion thing. Ooh, yeah, do it. Try it out, try it out, and let me know like what weird thing you f you decide to fuse. <laughs> okay, let's make some of these the rose ones as well, cause it's not looking too nice. 
need some color up in here. Ooh. There we go. And then these... Oh, I don't know if we want to keep this weathered fence or if we want to make the rosy picket fence. We'll just keep it for now. But... Okay, what do we think? That's a little bit of something here. That's not too, too great, but... Ooh, I think, I think we're not done. We are not done. Um... What else could we put in this area? Ba 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 ba. Decorative sword? No. Could we do? Let's see. A fairy tea set. Fairy tea table. That's cute. I like the industrial look, but we're kind of committed to this like whole cottage core look now. So industrial's not really good. It's gonna but great how's your day going my day is going great um i worked from home today which essentially means that i sent out a few emails and then i just proceeded to watch youtube god i really hope no one from my company is watching me right now see this is why i don't tell people i stream but yes it's it, it was it's a good day it's a it's a good day it's a good day um quinn was being a good girl today as well so that's always good <laughs> for legal reasons it's a joke yeah 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 for legal reasons, for HR reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> this is a yoke, guys. This is a yoke. <laughs> I was definitely not slacking off. Which, like, I feel like they know people are slacking off. They definitely know. The number of emails that go through on Fridays is just way lesser than on a normal day. Like, you can tell. You can tell, you know. So, um, the company is actually removing my Friday work from home. So now I have to go back to the office on Fridays, which sucks. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll have to like push back Friday streams. Like, cause normally my Friday streams are like at 8 PM now. I might have to push it back to like a little later. Like, oh God, I don't even know what time I can be home. Imagine I have to like come home and then I have to like eat and I bring my dog down and everything. Like, it's just going to be, it's gonna be whack. Maybe I'll do Thursday streams. <laughs> no, but I can't do Thursday streams because I have to wake up early for my office thingy on Friday. It's just, yeah, it's whack. I don't like it. A lot of people were pissed off actually when they sent out that email. They basically said like, oh, working from home is um, a privilege, not a right. And I was just like, how fucking condescending can you be? To put that in your darn email. Like, damn. Damn, bruh. That's just a whole other level. That's a whole ass other level. Fancy houseplant. Let's try that. And let's also see... I need more plants, y'all. I don't have enough plants. Flowers, specifically. Oh, those little planter things. Those look cute. Wait, where are my flowers at? This, 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 this. There. There are studies that have been done that uh, when employees work from home, they're actually much more productive. Oh, absolutely. I think so. But unfortunately, they don't think so. <laughs> But it's chill. I, I always kind of knew that it was going to happen sooner or later. Um, just because there's been times where there's like, where they, um, they there's like the, the, the country manager or something is like putting in the group chat. They're just like, where is everybody? Why is nobody in the office? We're just like, we're all working from home. Like, what are you talking about? Like, what today is one of the work from home days. Like, are you, like, are, are, are you, are you mad that we're, that we decided to work from home even though you said that we could work from home? Like, I don't understand. I don't understand, like, what is the issue about this? And then they're just like, oh, you know, but you don't always have to work from home. Sometimes you can work in the office and stuff. It's just like, why, why would anyone do that? Huh? Why would anyone do that? Can I put a carpet on here? I think that'd be nice, right? A rug? Beige woven rug or skin rug. Ooh. 
Blossom rug, brown and white rug. Let's just try a few options and see what's the best. Okay. Do I have alternative textures for this? Ooh, I do. Hello. Wait, this is kind of cute. I like the white. Of course I like the white. Jesus. Oh, can this not... Oh, I can't place it outside, maybe? Okay, but I like the white. That's cute. Ooh. I can't tell if I prefer it here or there. Or in the middle? Maybe in the middle. Hmm. They threaten work from home employees simply because they're mad they can't micromanage. Oh, absolutely 100%. And here's the thing, we barely see upper management in the office. But when they do decide to somehow go into the office, it's always on a work from home day. And then when they go into the office and they don't see anyone there, they're just like, where is everybody? How come no one's in the office? We're just like, you literally gave us that day to work from home. Why do you think anyone would be in the office? That's my question. What makes you think people would be in? <laughs> huh? Are you okay, sir? What's up? What, what's up? What goes on in that little mine over there? Huh? Okay, I like this, y'all. I like how it connects and everything. Oh, wait, am I able to, like, zoom out more? Or maybe I can't. How do I zoom out? I downloaded a mod that lets me zoom out more, but I don't know how to zoom out. Okay, never mind. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later. Okay, I like this, but it's feeling a little bit... Is it a little bit plain in this area? Like, I feel like... Maybe I put something up here, like fl more flowers. I don't know. When in doubt, just spam flowers. I just, I'll put a swing here. How about that? No, that's not it. That's, that, that's not it. When in doubt. Um, could we put... So then project on us just because you don't want to be at home because you hate your wife or whatever. I I too love to swing above my potatoes. Hey, first of all, they're carrots. Second of all, you make a great point. I won't put a swing there. But how else do I make it pretty? Oh, this is such a conundrum. How do I make it pretty? <laughs> oh, you don't have carrots yet? Oh, yeah, no 1.6. Oops. Oops, no 1.6. You'll get it soon. You'll get it soon. I honestly thought that he was going to um, announce it, uh, but apparently he announced that there was a 1.6.4 instead. So there's, there's that. <laughs> okay, let's just do the flower thing here. Bop, bop, bop. And let's get rid of house plant. And, oh, but I like this. I'll, I'll find somewhere to put it. Get rid of this, get rid of this. Get rid of this and the rugs. Okay, sick. Do I? <laughs> this is just me forcing flowers into everything that I do. That's just. Well, it can't be helped. It can't, flowers just makes everything look nicer, okay? It just, it just makes everything look nicer. Constant Dave, I love you, but chop chop developer boy. <laughs> you need the update, just kidding, he works very hard. Well, I mean, considering that he's like almost a one-man show, I know that it's not fully a one-man show. There was this whole drama that I saw on Twitter about how um, there was someone that worked fully on 1.5 and a little bit of 1.6 and he wanted like a bit more out of it like rather than like a monthly salary type of thing and uh wow my stream is so delayed holy shit i'm just look sorry i'm just looking at over at like the um stream manager why is my stream so delayed okay anyway but yes yeah 
uh, he was basically airing all the dirty laundry about um, him and Concerned Apes, like, conversations and stuff. And to be fair, like, Concerned Apes did sound a little bit rude. Sorry, Concerned Apes. Like, I love you. I love you, boy. But, like, you know, he did sound a little bit rude um, to the guy. But I also thought it was kind of, like, messed up that he would air the dirty laundry about his ex-employer like that. Like, it's not even that bad. It's not even, like, it's not cancelable type of situations. Actually. Okay, let's see if... Could we do... Hold on. This needs to go. Sorry. Oops. Don't want to throw a rock at you, but... Well, how did that happen? Okay, anyway. Oh, do I need to hold this up? What the fuck is this? Oh, a pine cone. Sorry, I'm just like... I really like the maple trees. I really like them. I think we could also do something in this area, like it's a like a lake house. I th I think a lake house would be a cute idea, actually. Like we just kind of like section it off here, and it's just like a really cute like um thing by the lake, uh house by the lake, and then if we could. I don't know if we want to fence this off, actually. We probably do want to fence it. Like, you know, we got to put something here. I, I don't know what it is, but house by the lake seems pretty good. That seems kind of fun, right? We do house by the lake here, and then... Um, I don't know what to do over here. More trees? More flowers? Wow, I had such good ideas previously. Hold on. I just need to get some inspiration from around here. Okay, I have my... Oh! Oh my god, guys. I have an idea. I recently downloaded this other mod for crap pots. And let's see if it works. I hope it does. Okay, let's see if it works. Yes. I can have ducks. Hello. Oh my god, this is so cute. I can't. Wait, hold on. No, it should be the other way around. Ah! <laughs> okay, I kind of have too many though. Otherwise, it just looks weird. But, oh my god, this is so cute. How do I get this out? How do I, how do I get this out? I get my crab pots out. Oh, let's just. I know, isn't it so so cute? I love it so much. Oh my god, this is great. I'm gonna put some more over there. So it's basically a crab pot, but it's a duck. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I need to put some here too. Um, I'll put it. I'll, I'll definitely put it by, like, the little lakeside house. I kind of have too many as well. Because if it looks... If there's too many, it just looks weird. There's, like, so many ducks just hanging by the side of the little lake. So... Should I do the blue ones? Or the, I'll do the yellow ones. The yellow little ones look kind of cute. Yeah. Oh, my God. This is adorable. Adorable. They're in love. Yeah, I like how they kind of look at each other like that. I wish there were other ones, like, if we could put, like, stuff that's in the middle of the lake, that would be best. That would be great. I would love that. But, um, fortunately. Put this here. I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing th things there. Just trying to see what works. Okay, so we have the crab pods there and everything. What about the... I also have to decorate the little mushroom farm. This, I haven't done anything yet. And I gotta. I'll, maybe I'll do that next time. But this time around. Ooh.
I think let's do the little house by the lake. A little lake house vibe. Okay, what's a lake house vibe? Let me see. Let me get some inspiration. Um, I had some kind of pinned. Let's see. A lake house vibe. Hmm. This is kind of cute. Is it? A well? Wait, do we have a well? Wait, we do have a well. Uh, I have a well in here. Yes, it's a cute one too. Yes, okay. This is like the proper well well, but that's not the vibes here. Okay, we could do a well. We could maybe do like a little bit of like a crops to pretend like they are like a cute little farmer or something. That's cute. Okay, so what if they did like a little... Oops, not that far. Fact, let's get rid of that. Okay. Something like that. Like something really small and then... Gotta do my flowers. Okay, some flowers here, and we'll do something like that here, maybe? Yeah, I'm kind of into this, y'all. Wait, I need the gate. Gate, 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 gate. Oops, not this. Gate? This? Yeah, but... Alternative textures it and bada bam, bada boom. It looks good. Bada bing, bada boom. Ooh, let's let's do the rose ones. Okay, is that weird? Uh wait, what's the difference between these three? They all look the same. Rosy picket fence, five, four, four, five. What? They look the same. Huh. I mean, that's kind of cute, right? Ooh, I know. Okay, what about if we did it like a little bit? So it kind of goes into it. And it's not just like one lonely thing over there. I like this idea. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Okay, wait, this is cute. Zen of Dusk, hey, hey, welcome in. How's it going? I married Emily on Clint's birthday. He was forced to attend the wedding. Now that is some major shady ass behavior. But I completely understand. I completely understand. That's so shady, but I got you. I got you. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. How are you? How's it going? I mean, besides, you know, completely ruining Clint's life. And oh my gosh, wait. I heard that in 1.6, um, they did have some new text available. Like apparently, like Clint becomes really depressed after you marry Emily in 1.6. Like, he, he just, like, straight up refuses to talk to you. Like, it's a thing. I think they've added new, um... They have added new conversations, I think? Text boxes? Whatever it's called. Hello? Oh, is it because of the... I can't see! Is it because of the tree? Is it because of the tree that I can't put this thing here? It might be, actually. Oh, wait, hold on a second. It's because of that, whatever that is.
Ta-da! Wait, I really like this. This is cute. Okay, sick. I'm doing very well and I know it's fucking hilarious and I'm waiting for 1.6 to be on console. Oh my gosh. I think you're like the second person here today that's been talking about um, waiting for 1.6 to be on console too. I, I'm so sorry it's not out yet. Oh my god. But I, I totally understand. Man, here's the thing. If modding was available on consoles and like on the Switch and everything, I would 100% be playing this on the Switch. I really would. I really, really would. Us console players are braver than the Marines. <laughs> you, guys, you guys are taking one for the team, man. You're taking one for the team. Okay, let's see. Freezers. Do I smell freezers? If I see freezers, I'm going to lose the left of my mind. <laughs> Okay, this is cute. I like how this person's like apparently planting some, I don't know, flowers or something. Ooh, they could do have another patch over here where they're actually planting some useful um, crops and not just flowers. Uh, they could be planting. Uh... Oh, farm crops. There we go. Oh, no, no, wait, seeds. Um... What is, what is available in spring? Parsnips? Because we already have carrots and cauliflowers. There's potatoes, but it doesn't look great. Ooh, we could do um, beans. Beans are cute. But the thing is, I can't do beans here unless, unless I do this. And then I just do one more line here. And then I just do this. And then... Okay, I like this. This is nice. Alright, and then uh, we'll do some... Should I do some fences around it, maybe? That's not too, too cute. But Oh, instead of this one's actually. I think there are other fences. Let's do the hardwood fence. Oh, wait, should I do hardwood fence or should I do the metal one? I've never used a metal one before, actually. Yeah, I like this. Paths. Crystal paths, gravel path. That's gravel path. Scrabble pop look like. Oh. Oh my god, I've never used this before. Okay. I think I hate it. <laughs> I don't think I like it. Yeah, I don't like it. Wait, hold on. I did this whole thing and I did end up not liking it at all. I now just imagine I go to a store with my family portrait and shoving it in his face while listing off baby names for upcoming child. It's like Guts, uh, Gus and Hector from Breaking Bad. Um, if you don't get the reference, Hector was an asshole who had a well-deserved, really rough patch and Gus was rubbing it in his face. <laughs> I mean, I could totally see that happening. I was also a vengeful little bitch um, when I was playing my own vanilla Stardew version. I married Harvey and then because I was really mad that Harvey was still charging me for um, dying in the in the mines. I Oh shit, that's, that was my bean. Um, so I decided to divorce him on his birthday. Yeah, I was, that, was, that was my vengeful, my vengeful past. <laughs> I, I don't know, it was just kind of like a little sick in the head like that, you know? I waited till it was his exact birthday, decided to go to the May Lewis's house, sign the thing for divorce, and bada bing bada boom, now his birthday will remember, forever be remembered as the most traumatic day of his life when he divorced me, his millionaire wife. That's right. 
but I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, we we're just having like a little cozy time. I wanted to make a little lake house over here, which I think is going along pretty good actually, all things considered. Actually, we should put some grass over here. Uh, we could put something else over here as well, and then stepping stones. Can never go wrong with stepping stones. Haley is my girlfriend. Every day I find Alex to laugh in his dumb face. Oh my god, guys. Okay, I think... Because you guys are quite new to my stream. I don't think you were here when I was talking about that Reddit guy that was obsessed with Haley. Like, I'm talking like... I feel like he actually thought that Haley was his IRL wife. Like, I'm not even kidding. I think he had problems. It was actually kind of scary. Like, the way he would be like, Yeah, today, Haley and I, we decided to go to the mines today. But Haley didn't like it. And then he had, like, downloaded all of these, like, NSFW mods for Haley, Which was so disturbing. Um, but actually really funny. I ended up, like, stalking him a lot. I, he, like, had deleted some posts. Which I think was, like, some sussy-ass post. Because based off of, like, the comments that other people leave, they were like, what the fuck? Like, they were like... They were honestly saying, You could waterboard the F out of me, but I would never voluntarily, like, share that information. Yeah. So I actually went, and I went back to, like, you know how, once, once you put it on the internet, it's on the internet forever, okay? So there's this thing where you could go back in time with Reddit and see, like, comments, like, before they were deleted and stuff. So I looked back at the comments, and wow... They were wild. They, he was just like listing all of like, he was just so nonchalant about it. He was like, yeah, I downloaded this NSFW and this NSFW mod. I was like, oh my God, he is insane. He's nuts. He's nuts. But yeah, he was just really nonchalant about it. I mean, you know, good for him. But the thing, here's the kicker. He was married. He's just straight up married and he's just doing that shit like, you know, very casually. Uh, okay. Yeah, sure. The lesbians me are currently no longer sleeping on Haley. I have always loved her uh, because she's uh, mean. Wait, you liked her because she's mean? I didn't like her because she was mean. I was like, I would never marry Haley. She called me stinky. She called me ugly. I was, I was pissed off. I was like, this bitch called me stinky. She's not a girl's girl. That's what I said. I said she's, she ain't a girl's girl. But I did like her story arc. I think that out of everyone, like, Haley kind of grows the most. I mean, aside from Shane, like, not being an alcoholic anymore. But I think, like, her personality, like, changes, like, really well. And it's, it's a really good storyline for her. But, um, like, it's just, it just gives off bad vibes in the first impressions, you know? Like, she and Shane gives off bad vibes. But they're the ones that kind of grow the most, I guess. Hey, one and only, how's it going? A pretty girl is mean to me. <laughs> Wait, you like that shit? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, where is... Should I put some Junimos around? Like, what do I put here? Daisy crate. Daisies are cute. I like daisies. Wait, I like this too. Let's do things. Shane is very different. She's not mean to me anymore, but now she says I smell earthy, which like, okay, thanks. Like, see, I don't know. I feel like that's not a compliment. Like that, that sounds kind of backhanded and mean, but okay, I, I guess I guess you do you, Haley. Sure, thanks. Thanks for saying that I smell earthy. Question mark. <laughs> uh, when I stay overnight to fix a bug in a program and it still doesn't work, me. <laughs> oh no! Wait, it's, it's, is, is it a, is it a bad day at work today or something? That's a bad day, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. 
hopefully the problem kind of fix it is, fixes itself? Question mark? Hopefully? Wait, I really like this. I think this is kind of cute. Maybe if I could just remove this one gross. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Otherwise, it's just a little bit too much, you know? Okay, then we somehow have to put something over here. Otherwise, it ends really awkwardly. Like, what do I put over here? Trees? I kind of block it off. Maybe I do put trees. Maybe I do. Oops. I love that meme because my cat looks just like that. Oh, you have a white cat. That's so cute. I have a white dog. She is underneath my table right now, so I can't show her to you. But but she's she she she's a cutie. She's a cutie. Okay, this is good, you know, so it does end off in an awkward little path, but what if I just change things up and it doesn't end here? Maybe it ends here ish, but then something else happens here. I don't know. We'll we'll figure that out later. We'll figure that out. Um, it's overall okay, just that I'm still salty about the problem specifically. Oh no. Her name is Ming. She's old and a menace, but I love her. Oh, that's so cute. My dog's name is called Quinn. She is also a menace. She likes to pee everywhere. Um, <laughs> she likes to pee where she's not supposed to pee at. But it's okay, because I still love her. Because <laughs> I'm currently staying in like a service apartment, so like the furniture is not mine. But she just pees on the rug. Like, god damn it, Quinn! I'm gonna have to pay for that shit! What the hell? So yeah, that that's little Quinn there, but Okay, yeah, she yeah, she did. But like here's the thing, like I just brought her down. So it's not like I'm not bringing her down and she's like, "Oh no, I have nowhere to pee." She has places to pee, okay? She just decides not to. Uh, I don't understand. I don't understand her thought process there. It's just like she has places to pee, but she decides not to pee there. And she wants she just wants to pee on the rug. Like, "Huh? I don't know what to do with. I honest I don't know what to do with her." The carpet is so screwed. Like, I'm trying to do my best and, like, soak it up and stuff. But, you know, there's... Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I'm, I'm trying my best here. <laughs> I really want to do that little, like, countdown clock thing. Like, how many days it's been since there's been an accident for Quinn. Because you'll just see that number going between one and two days and then going back down to zero again. Like, that's... That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is. Okay, let's get rid of those things. Whoops. But, how do you guys like my little makeover so far? I know that this area is just missing something. It's just not feeling cutesy enough. Like, I need a little bit more cutesy in this, but I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. Maybe I need to put something in the middle here. Like, like more flowers? I don't know. That's my solution to everything, just more flowers. And then here's kind of the outdoor area, I suppose. Maybe I need more hay. Like, what if I put more hay bills here? To kind of even them out. Like, is that is that a thing? Does that look good? I don't know, man. My mother's dog piss at the washing machine in the fridge. What a prick. Oh, no. What, what is it about that? I think it's very cutesy, but also not used to mods. It looks great. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's just... I have very high expectations for myself. And I don't know if this fits that. But it's, it's cute. It's cute. Hmm. I need something over here, maybe. What is it? 
See, the thing is with mods is that once you start with the mods, you can't go back. You really can't. You really can't go back. Old. Oh, but speaking of cozy um, games, I did hear that there's going to be like, I don't know if it's a big one or something that's coming out soon. I think the trailer's dropping in like two days or something. It's um, it's a, a Lord of the Rings one. What's it called? Uh, Tales of the Shire. Apparently, it's based off of Lord of the Rings. I don't really know like how cutesy it is. I'm going to put a blooming mini hitch here. No, that's too much. That's way too much. Hey, cheeseburger. Welcome in. Uh, flower isn't that good. Too many flowers equals many bees. True. Um, oh God. But these are fake flowers. It's fine. The real flowers are over there with like the, 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 the bee stuff. Yeah, the real flowers are over here. These are the real flowers. Oh, God. Which I need to replace, by the way. Because I feel like I accidentally got rid of some of them. But... The fake flowers are fine. I can't wait for Haunted Chocolatier. Yes, yeah, I feel like it's going to be years though. It's going to be at least two more years. It's like, there's like, we have had zero information so far, have we? At least two more years. I can't wait for that too. But, ooh, I actually did want to watch something. Um, there was an indie showcase recently, right, from Nintendo? Was it? Did you guys watch that? I haven't seen it yet, but was it Nintendo? Is it called Indie World or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was an Indie World showcase on the 17th of April. And here's the thing. I had watched like this big game showcase. Uh, I think it was a few weeks back. I had watched that one. Or a few months back. I don't know. I don't know which it was. But I had, all of the games I saw, that was like, it's not for me. It's not for me. Because it was all like the, you know, like the not cute games. And I'm a, I'm a cute, I'm a cute game girl. You know, I like cute games and stuff. So I think this indie showcase would definitely be like up my alley. But I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, it's just the trailers. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But um, I haven't seen it. I do want to see like what other games... Like, cute games are coming out soon. Because they, they tout this new um, Lord of the Rings Tales of the Shire one. They say it's like Stardew Valley meets The Sims, which I'm a little bit skeptical about. I'm a little bit skeptical. I don't know how it'll go. And also, I'm not a Lord of the Rings fan. I've never watched Lord of the Rings, okay? I've never watched Lord of the Rings before, so it's not like I have a connection with it. I'm just like, oh my god, I love Lord of the Rings. I have to go. I get it, but no. Imagine if you can add cute mods to it. Honestly, if the game doesn't allow me to make cute shit and doesn't give me cute mods, I don't want it. It's like Disney Dreamlight Valley, you know? I can't cheat in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I would play the game so much more if I could cheat. <laughs> add cute mods to everything? Oh, 100%. I need that. Wait, I don't... Have you guys seen my, my latest cutest mod? My latest cutest mod. When you ever become Twitch famous, we still forget. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Let's be real. Let's be real, okay? I don't think that's happening. Where is Alex? Wait, let's give Alex something. I need an egg. I can spawn an egg. Let's give Alex something. I just want to show you guys... I just want to show you guys my latest, uh, my latest mod. Okay. Alright, I already talked to him, so what I need to do is I need to give him a gift! <laughs> Dang, Troy Bolton really likes the egg that I gave him. I think it'll really help him for the, um, for his next basketball game. This is the best mod I have ever downloaded. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Get you, get your head in the game. Gotta get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game. <laughs> it's the best shit ever. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that, that was actually the mod that I saw that um, inspired me 
to create this like Twitter thread about like the funniest mods I've ever seen. And I can show them to you guys actually, because it's it's great. It's it's a great list if I do say so myself. But so I basically I made this list of like really funny mods that I saw on Nexus and I thought was hilarious and I wanted to share it with the public. Right? I was like, this is so good. I can't keep this to myself. So I did. I posted them all. And then someone quote tweeted me and was like, wow, wait, okay, I have to pull it up and let you guys see this because it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Okay, hold. Okay, let me show you guys. This is what I had tweeted. Let me just close all of this. Um, tweeters, tweeters, tweeters. Okay, this is what I had tweeted. I said, the funniest Stardew Valley mods I've seen a thread. And then, so then I went into it. I was like, well, the first one is obviously the Troy Bolton one that you guys saw, right? And then this one is Pam in a shipping bin. So you basically, you know, you have Pam pops out whenever you want to ship stuff. I thought that was funny. And then there's Duolingo that you can, for some reason, if you wanted to have on your farm as well. Yeah, Pam in a shipping bin. <laughs> Now, of course, the Duolingo, like, you know, like, just because he could be a constant reminder for you to go do your Spanish lessons, you know? That's a good reminder to have. Um, Georgia Farmhouse, which I think I showed earlier as well. That's the Georgia Farmhouse. Um, this one just renamed one of the books. I think in 1.6, there was a book called Jack Be Nimble, Jack Be Thick, like T-H-I-C-K. And this mod just changed T-H-I-C-K to T-H-I-C-C. And that, that, that's just the whole mod. It's just, just changed one word, one letter even. Um, the, this, this is a Pam bus. <laughs> this is just um, a, a, a bus made out of Pams. <laughs> it's, just, it's just one giant Pam that you get to ride in. <laughs> this is something super cool. You know that golden statue that Mayor Lewis has? Well... Now it dances to the Macarena. Macarena. Well, that's that's the Golden Lewis statue, you know. Now it dances. And then the last one I put was um, they changed all the NPCs to Elliot. Uh, that's just this is everyone's just Elliot. In, in case, you know, in case we have any Elliot Sims or in case anyone want to have nightmares. There's just, con everyone is Elliot, basically. So I had, I had posted this and generally, like, most people, I would say, like, all of them were like, oh my god, we love this, except for one person. And let me tell you, was not happy, okay? Hold on, how do I see it? Is it this? View post engagement. This guy goes... I love unmarked advertisements. It's really cool. The FTC needs to shut this shit down. When I tell you, I saw this quote, dude, I burst out laughing. I was like, how did he come to the conclusion that this was sponsored? This guy looked at my Troy Bolton high school musical, Duolingo, Pam Levin mods, and was like, oh shit. I hate it when influencers, first of all, <laughs> influencers. I hate it when influencers don't disclose that this is uh, an advertisement. What? What on earth am I promoting here? What, what, what ad is this for? Who's paying me? Mods don't get money out of this. You know, the mod artists don't get money out of this. Is Disney paying me? To promote High School Musical, Troy Bolton. <laughs> I used to think, I think he realizes that maybe he doesn't actually make sense. Because then, like, I don't know what this person said. But then he says, it's genuinely like a BuzzFeed article through Twitter. Like, who the fuck finds the Duolingo bird funny? Like. Huh? <laughs> 319 people. What? <laughs> 
And a lot of people who ever downloaded the Duolingo mod, they found it funny. And also, so what is, what is your problem with my, my tweet? Is the problem that it's a BuzzFeed article and apparently it's not funny? Or is the problem that this is apparently an advertisement? Which is it? What are you mad about? <laughs> like, it's really, the, the, there's zero logic there, which I, it's, that's why I was just laughing the whole time because it just doesn't make sense to me. It just doesn't make sense. But, you know, it's, it's, it's fine. It's just... They think your Twitter account is actually ran by the Duolingo. Oh, yes, actually, I am the social media manager for Duolingo and I am um, making sure that everyone is signing up for Duolingo. That's what I'm trying to do, actually. That is the ulterior motive. Everyone better sign up for Duolingo, like, right now. <laughs> they just want to be mad just because they want to. Yeah, like... Like, oh, why does this person have so much time and energy to just be mad about people having fun? That was my thing. The Duolingo owl wants me dead. Oh no, is, is he like, is, did he turn red and angry on your phone yet? Is, is that the kind of thing he's at right now? Duolingo invasion coming. <laughs> I'm going to post this on TikTok and then let the Duolingo owl see it. I want the Duolingo team to think that they owe my they they owe me money. Yep. You're in hiding. He has a hit on me and I know it. <laughs> Man, I love the way they do the uh, Duolingo uh, social media stuff. It's so funny. It's so so funny. Hope you survived the night, bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, wait. What am I doing here? Okay. I need to figure out this area, I think. Oh, God, what is happening in this area? I don't even know. What could I even put here? But yeah, that's that's my whole Twitter debac debacle that happened recently. I was ac actually speechless. Didn't know what to say, except to laugh. <laughs> it's just... It's so ridiculous. It's so, so ridiculous. But I hope the Duolingo or Disney team sees this and it's just like, oh shit, do we owe this creator money? Because yes, yes, you do actually owe me money. Oh yeah, this was definitely an advertisement for you guys. So um, if you wouldn't mind, here's my bank account number. Just, you know, throw that money in, I suppose. Wait, a lemonade stand, that's cute. I could have a lemonade stand next to my house with lemonades. Oh, that's really cute. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's get my inspiration out again. Uh, okay, what could I put in the area next to my little house? Could put a second shipping bin. You know, pretend that it's another house. Put a second shipping bin. Or what's this? This person put, hmm, this person put the, the, the horse next to it. Man, there's so many good ideas out there. There are so, so many good ideas. Oh, planters? Wait, planters could be kind of cute. And then I could put like, like actual... Ooh, tea leaves! Wait, where are the tea leaf stuff? Um, planters. Wait, what, what is it called? It's not a pot. Is it a pot? Those like empty ones where you can put shit in. What is it called? Um... As in crafting, I know that. Uh, is it this? Worm bin. Produces bait on a regular basis. The wor Oh, worm bin! Oh my god, I read that as warm. Like, it keeps my shit warm? Like, it keeps, like, the eggs warm or something? Like, what? No. It's worm. Worm bin. Okay, so where's the plant? Oh, garden pot. Garden pot. Oh, that's cute. Okay, let's do a garden pot. Garden pot. 
I think I have some like textures for that too. All right, we've got some ideas cooking. Take me to the place of love. Well, well, well. If it is in the waris. Hey, welcome in. How's it going? How's it hanging, waris? Waris. Okay, let's do that, and then... Do I want to make it a little... Hedge? Alright, I'm kind of obsessed with hedges, I'm not gonna lie. It's a bit of... It, it's a little bad. Actually, you know what? No, I'll, I'll change it back. I'll change it back. Eh. Where, where is? Okay, I'm sorry. Where is? War. I said war is. Where is? I'll just call you what the fuck. <laughs> I'll just call you WTF. Let's just, yeah, let's just do that. Let's just do that. <laughs> but how are you? How's it going? Walrus. Walrus. Walriz. Wal... War, wall, wall, but it's wa, wa, waris. There's no L, wa, waris. Wa, 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 wa. Who's got the most riz here? Certainly not me. Certainly not me. <laughs> Shredder is daddy. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How's it going? <laughs> oh my gosh. Shredder is daddy. Okay, that's cute. I like that. I like that. Wait, I always did it right, bruh. Oh my god. That... <laughs> Yeah, not it. Not it. <laughs> oh, what came over you today, Vo? Uh, what do you mean? You said I was saying it wrong. I got self-conscious. I got I got the selfie conscious. Maybe it's because I'm, I'm going to turn older soon. Maybe it's because I'm old. Oh. What is this thing coming out of a lemonade stand? Like, what? what is this this thing? Huh? Don't understand it, but okay. I'm getting older. And I can't help it. Ho oh, ho, look at the patterns. Okay, this is cute. This is cute. Oh, I really like this. Oh, this is gonna, oh, this is a whole new thing of possibilities right now. Okay, um, do I want it to be brown though? Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's make it brown. This is so cute. This is so, so cute. Um, oh, actually, let's not do that like that. Let's do it. Just like a full thing of itself. Wait, I can't do a full thing of itself? It has to be two? I'll just do it like that. You're off to bed. Good night. Good night, Duel. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Good night. Ah, oh my gosh. Peace. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. I would never say that. Never. <laughs> okay, there we go. We'll put that there. We'll put this here. We'll put this here. Yeah. Oh, this is good.
it. I like this. Okay. And then we can put some stuff in there. Then we'll put some more shiz over... Over here, maybe? I'll do like a two thing, two parter thing here. Maybe do like a, a three parter thing here. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Okay. So, it's going to look so cute. You just have to trust the process. You just got to trust. Uh, this feels this feels a little bit like Animal Crossing now, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this feels a little bit like Animal Crossing. Okay. There. And then these we got to just leave as is. And then and then, okay. This is where this is where it gets it it gets got, all right? This is where it gets got. We'll do like a little bit of something something here. Okay. I'm cooking, I'm cooking. We just spam some some grassies over here. All right. Maybe one more here. Yeah. And then, oh, oh, maybe we'll put some maybe maybe a, a flower. <laughs> I have problems with flowers, man. I just, I just love them. They're the best. I need flowers everywhere. Or a lamp. A lamp is cute. We should do a lamp. Okay, that's cute. That's cute. All right, and then we'll we'll do a little bit more grass, but I kind of want to see it with the seeds in. So. What do we want to plant in here? Do we want flowers or do we want crops? It's spring, so we gotta do... Gotta do a spring thing. I'll go by type. Uh, this is all spring. Okay, we could do garlic. <laughs> what are we trying to like... <laughs> get rid of vampires or something? Let's do garlic. We could do rhubarbs. That's a cute, pretty color, right? I think. Um, I just need something to be a pretty color. Do I do flowers again? This strawberries! Where are my strawberries at? Rare seeds. Should I do rare seeds? Amaranth. Um, where are my strawberries at? My strobes. Strawberries are cute. I'm doing strawberries. I love strawberries. Fuck it. <laughs> it's so cute. Ah, these are the best. I love cheats. Okay, sick. Okay, I like this. I like this. I just started fall and then planting 96 amaranth for the week. Oh my gosh, that's so many. Oh my gosh, 96 of them. Oh my god. Your energy has to be like maxed out. Seriously. At this point. Could I do this and kind of... You know, this is kind of cute, right? And then we'll put... Hold on, we'll move this away. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Ooh, 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 we could put a bench here. Hold on. Me cooking. Me cooking. Put a little seat there. Um, it could be just a simple oak bench. No, it doesn't have to be anything too fancy. Something like that ish. Your plots are all ready, my god. Hey, hats off to you, man. Hats off to you. I don't... Here's the thing about the weeklies. I think I never really did it properly. 
to be honest. Like, I just, like, never, like, I was like, you know what? I'm Once I was done at the community center, I, was, I, just, I just kept giving gifts to people. So I, I just didn't do the weeklies after a while. Where did my hay go? Okay, there we go. Okay, can I do a little tea sapling thing here? I like the tea. Tea is cute. Tea leaves, tea sapling. Yeah, this is cute. But actually, I think it'll be even better if like, I have a whole tea area. You know, like that, that would be actually be really, really cute. But okay, let's see. Do I do more stepping stones in this area? Like, it's just... Hmm. That means more grass. I'm kind of thinking like there's got to be something that leads up to the bench. Maybe the bench would look better if... I did it over here. Or, what about if we did a, <laughs> a swing? Another one. Oh my god, so many swings. This is why I've just maxed out in terms of uh, furniture mods. That's one of the stuff you get from that. Wait, what do you get? Wait, you get stuff? What? What? Oh, I recently learned about a thing that was actually in vanilla the whole time and I didn't even know. Like, uh, that's a cat sword. What is it called? A meow sword? A Stardew Valley. Like, that's a process you have to go through in order to get this sword. Meow? Sword? It's called the Meow Mirror. I don't know if you guys have heard about it before. Um, it's apparently a reference to Terraria. But there's like a whole like step-by-step -step guide. And like, I don't know how someone even found out that you could do this. Because it's so random. Like, it's something about like... Finding the ancient dolls, then like I think you gotta throw it into um, the mine area where it's like the, the pool of lava. Yeah, all those things. And then like after that you gotta like sacrifice it somewhere else. Like it's, it's a whole it's a whole thing. Something sometimes like recipes. I already got that uh, teleport thingy recipe from the wizard doing his weekly. Oh the mini obelisk. Oh. oh I didn't know you could get that from them. Yeah, I never managed to finish my vanilla run. I think, honestly, I got stuck at the Ginger Island one with the, uh, I think it was Golden Acorns or something. <laughs> it's because I, I, just, I just don't know where else to find them. Even like me trying to Google where these golden walnuts, I think it's walnuts, coconuts, what, whatever they are. Even me trying to Google them, I still couldn't find out. It's just because, <laughs> it's just, at that point... I don't know which ones I've already been to, which ones I hadn't. It was a whole thing. Okay, this is cute, but it kind of blocks my thingy, so I don't like it. I don't like that it blocks my thing. You haven't even touched the Skull Caverns yet. I want to finish before. Oh, that's so cool. I, low-key, I had to use the um, staircase method for the Skull Caverns. I know a lot of people were saying like, oh, that's cheating or whatever. You no, no, it's not cheating if the game provides it, okay? Like if, like, if not, I would never be able to finish the Skull Caverns. Uh-uh. I kept dying in there without the, uh, without the staircases. But I'm sure, I'm sure you'll do much better than I did. I, I was I was a mess. I was like a hot ass mess in there. Um, let's see. What else could I possibly put in that area? Oh, Levantine, that's so cute. Like little herbs. I could do herbs, but I already have my farmer's market area. Outdoor table. Wait, that's kind of cute. Like a little table people can sit outside and chill at. I have so many picnic tables. I guess this is kind of cute. And then we could put a little tea set. I think I saw one. Tea set. Oops. Wait, can I not put it there? Am I supposed to put it on the floor? 
I can't put it on this table? Oh, that's messed up. Table. Um, we could do... Greenhouse table or barrel table, coffee table. These are not great tables. Picnic table is a pub table. Pub table. It's too small. This is a good size, I think. A pub table. Wait, how the hell am I supposed to put this down? Oh, there we go. And chairs. I'll do a this outdoor chair. Wizard chair, wood chair. This is kinda cute. I like that. No. Wait, can I not turn this around? Okay, that's, that's, that's fucked up. I probably will need to do that too. I'm trying to collect jade, but unfortunately need iridium for the crystallariums. Uh, so I'll probably just have to suck it up and go into winter. Yeah. And it, the thing about winter that, you know, you can just really focus on that instead. Because at least you can't farm. Like, there's zero way. A chair that can be orientated in four ways. What the? How? How can it be orientated in four ways? I don't understand. Like, I'm pressing both buttons here, like... Okay, that's... Never mind. Uh... The other one, let's just do... Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Oh wait, there's also this country chair. Oh, let's just do this. Ah, okay, cute. Hold on, let's do this, and then... Okay, perfect. Oh, I like this. This is better, this is better. This is good. Is this too much? <laughs> Is this too much? Okay, I think it's too much. Hold on. It's way too much. Okay, just a little bit. Let's not go overboard with the flower grass. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, sick. Wait, I'm actually really happy about this. Okay, we have this little area down. I'm not too, too sure about this look. It just feels very empty to me, like over here. Um, but you know what, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out later. Okay, so we have completed this area. Oh, I really wish I could zoom out. Hold on. I know I can. I think I just need a need to know what the button is. So let me just save the day first. I'll just go in here. I'll sleep. A little sleepsies. There was once where I um, forgot to save by sleeping. And I just like exited. And then um, I fucked up. Because all of all, I, I just deleted all of my progress. Okay, there has to be a way to zoom. Mod options. Oh, here it is. Okay, um, zoom level. Keybinds page. UI hold key. What's om period? I don't know what that is. UI increase or decrease. Wait, what? Zoom to a 
approximate map size. Key binds to change to zoom level to the approximate current map size. What? Huh? I don't I just I just wanna I just wanna zoom out. <laughs> How do I zoom out? <laughs> Camera movement up. I don't I, I just I just wanna zoom out, please! Zoom or UI min levels? Key binds to max to zoom out or max to zoom out. Maybe this is what I need. Um, I don't know. Could I just do F9? What does that even do? <gasps> oh, shit! Okay, well, I guess it sort of worked. Okay, so... Ah, wow. Okay, I can really see the overview of this farm. This is the farm overview so far. We have this area, this little uh, farming plot, farmer's market. The animals are right smack in the middle. Um, we have... Oh, I'm stuck. We have uh, the flower area. The, the little um, cave-ish area. I haven't done the inside of the cave yet though. I'm waiting to do like the whole interiors together. And my rice, my rice area too. Maybe I should change this all to rice. Hmm. Oh well. And then we have the little duck area at the corner there. Fish ponds here. Horsies here. Outdoor cooking barbecue station, bar station here. Uh, more farming area. See, th that's just something missing over here. This is just empty. This is not it. This is just not it. Okay. So, all we're really missing right now is this area plus that area. So, over there, I was thinking we were going to do like a... um, Because <laughs> we, we did see all these sexy portraits uh, part of like in the mods that we got. And I was thinking we could do like a little sexy area for grandpa for his grave. You know, so that he has something to look forward to in his afterlife. Yeah, that 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 that's the plan to make a sexy area for Grandpa. It's it's not it's gonna be romantic, okay? It's gonna be a romantic area for Grandpa. It's not it's not it's gonna be tasteful. It's gonna be tasteful. And then uh, we still have to put these somewhere. Maybe I'll put this over there with Grandpa. I don't know. I I don't know where to put these. And then we still have something to do in this area to connect it to the greenhouse over here. It's time to do it. <laughs> Okay, man, but I really love seeing like how, how far we've gotten so far. Like this is insane. It's actually insane. Look at how much we've done. I'm so proud of ourselves. Wow. Holy shit. Okay. This is like three streams worth of content right here. Okay. Is it time for sexiness? <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. To be honest, I, I don't know where to begin. There, okay, there is some like other furniture that I could put in this area. It's like that whole Greekish furniture vibes. There are columns, there are like there's this ruin thing. Um, there's this lion statue. There's, there are these overgrown romantic trellis arch. It's romantic. You know? This whole area could just be dedicated to this mod. This one mod over here. Oh, I ran out of space. Um, <laughs> okay, get rid of all these things. And then... I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Okay, let me think. What is the best way to make a sexy area? <laughs> I don't do sexy, man. Maybe like the moment you like enter, it's like, uh, like you enter to this gorgeous, rose thing 
Try chat GPT. Hi chat GPT, could you help me with this? Making a sexy area. Do there are these two? Is it called trellis? There we go. Oh, which one do I even have? Ooh, there's, there's a seat. There are seats. Okay, but this doesn't go. No, we'll put this over there. I feel like the moment you enter, it's just like, come in and be judged, you know? So we could put this over here and then, okay, we need to figure out pathways, okay? We need to figure out the floor situation here because this, this is just... I feel like I need the other option for floors. It'd be funny if ChatGPT declines because it deems it unethical or something. ChatGPT is like, uh, what? Oh, what about if you try asking ChatGPT, like, how to get rid of a body? Like, would you think, do you think that ChatGPT would be like, uh, bro, I'm calling 911, like, right now? I mean, it's possible, right? I think it could happen. Do we want stone floors or straw floors? Or floor floors. Wood floors? Okay, I feel like this area like needs like a more stone floor vibe. Hold on, let's see. Okay, no. The white one for sure. Oh wait, what am I doing? I'll see the copy of texture and apply it to others. Oh, okay, here. What? What? Why can't I copy? Nope, that's not it. Okay, I don't know how to do it. Okay, so... I don't know how to do it. Stone floor. It needs to be from here. And then I feel like... It has to go all the way up, though. I, I, I slowly, I've, I don't know what I'm doing now. <laughs> Maybe, but I think surely if you did that, you would be put on a list. I think so too. I think, I, yeah, I, I think, I think you'll be on the government watch list if you did that. But, <laughs> could be kind of fun, you know, got some FBI friends. Hey, how's it going, FBI friends? Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> That's so messed up. That is so damn messed up. How the hell do I do this? What do you mean by it doesn't... This spray doesn't have the right set of texture, huh? I can't do this manually. There's no way. There is no freaking way. Apply different textures to entities. Allows you to copy a texture and apply it to other objects at the same time. What? It's, it's the same texture! What are you talking about? Oh, here you go. Ah... Okay, okay, chill, 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 chill. Okay, and then I think what we could do is, um, ooh, we could have this over here, right? Okay, and then we have like this over here, and we have this sexy beast over here. Oh, no, wait, you know what? Let's put Sexy Beast over here. And then, Sexiest Beast of, like, ladies prancing around should be, like, here, next to Grandpa. Grandpa deserves it, okay? Let's just, let's just give Grandpa what he wants, all right? Jim and I do that dumb stuff if you ask it some questions, uh, especially the C programming language. MatPat from Game Theory wants to know how deadly is this in-game projectile in real life and his Google search history became so sus? Wait, what did he Google? Oh no. That... Oh god. <laughs> uh, 
but this could be like here, I think. Oh, no, this, oh, this is laying down. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know, I'll just put this here. Yeah, we're, we're giving grandpa a little bit, a little bit of something, something, you know? A little bit something for grandpa. Oh, you know what? Let's put the rose over here instead. And this, I'll put it here. Yeah, okay. Spread the roses out a bit. Actually, roses the other side. Okay. I like this. And then we have another rose here too. I'm just gonna, gonna throw that there. I don't know, man. I'm probably gonna redo this area. I'm not loving it. I, I have to redo. I have to. I have to redo this. Yeah. Well, I could change this to a... Yeah, this looks kind of, you know... And instead of doing this whole area as... A thing... Let's just put some grass here. Because it's a bit... It's a bit dry, isn't it? Whoops. He googles like stuff like, is it possible to survive getting shot in the head? Oh my god. Cannon shots, survivals, etc. Need to research the facts in order to make a video on whether this is deadly in real life. I wonder like what the FBI just thinks. Like when they see like someone Google stuff like that, they're just like, oh god. Probably Matt Pat again. Like does he have his own like, his own FBI agent that is over there just like, it's okay everyone. This guy just makes weird videos online. It's, don't worry. <laughs> He, he he doesn't mean it. <laughs> he he's he's not going to actually shoot someone IRL. It's okay, y'all. Man, I want to be like their personalized FBI agent. I think that'll be fun. I think that'll be real fun. Okay, this is roughly the kind of like thing we're going for. Roughly, that's so weird. Is this? Possibly the weirdest thing I've ever done. Making a sexy area for grandpa. <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's put this one over here. Let's put this one. Like, should it be in an area where grandpa can see it? Like, should I just put it in the middle here? It, is it though? I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of concerning. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, then I'll put like a lamp so that grandpa can see what the shenanigans are up to, I suppose. Oh, there's no... Okay, the lamps? I'll just use that lamp. It doesn't, it doesn't fit, but I'll change it up. I'll change it up a bit. Wait, did I miss? Hmm? Oh my gosh, uh, Guardian Crips. I'm so sorry, I feel like I, I think I missed your, your follow, I'm so sorry. It's what, when? Who? When did I miss, oh my, I'm so sorry, but welcome, welcome in, how's it going? Okay. Okay, what other stuff do we have in this sexy mod? <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm a failed streamer. This is why I'll never make it big. <gasps> Ooh, a bloom. Okay, this is going to be cute in this area, though. Oh, come on. This is going to be cute. This is going to be super cute. Wait, Streamlabs down? Seriously? Not again. Hold I just had to turn it on just now again. Because Streamlabs likes to do this thing where they like to just turn off my alerts for some reason. No, wait, it is on. Hmm? 
That's weird. Is it this angle? Okay. Where is my... Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thanks for the page tackle, Sadi. Alert box. Um, follows. Yeah, it is enabled. Sometimes it does weird things. Oh, well. Yeah, it works. It's fine. I must have just missed it or something. Okay. Uh, this is super cute. I like it, but it doesn't go with the roses, though. Doesn't go with the roses. Uh, we do have this blooming mini hedge that could be cute. I don't know where we'll put it, but it's also roses. Um, and then there's, there we, there's this one, the pot holder. <laughs> pot. Tomorrow is 420, even though I've never had pot, but you know. This one, there's a whole ass fountain. Man, this mod is just, it's crazy. And it's crazy how much stuff is in here. Ivory flower pot, yes. Ivory pillar, yes. There's also these benches. I'm not going to put that in, that in yet, though. Um, lava. Man, I can't wait to just... Tonight, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put... Oh, this is cute. I'm just going to have the uh, Taylor Swift song. Her new album. I'm just going to have it on, like while I sleep. Yeah. It's just going to be on while I sleep. Wow, there's a whole lover's bed. This is huge. Oh my lord. Do those uh, decor have their own uh, custom craft recipe? I don't think it's a recipe. It's actually a catalog that um, you buy from Robins. But it costs a bomb. It costs an arm and a leg, honestly. Um... Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, so you can actually purchase this romantic furniture catalog thing from Robin itself. And then that's where you can get everything. But there's no like recipes for it. I kind of stopped listening to Cowboy Carter. Oh my god, yes. I've heard very, very, very good things about uh, Beyonce's new album. I hope that she finally wins a goddamn uh, Grammy album of the year from, with this. Because how is it possible that Beyonce... Mother effing Beyonce has never won an album of the year. And I love Taylor Swift, don't get me wrong. But she's won it like, what, like five times? Six times? And Beyonce has zero? There's something wrong here, okay, with that whole thing. There's something wrong with this equation. Uh, let's get rid of the... No, I like all of this. Maple, no. This type of flowers. There's a line about album of the year in one of her songs. Wait, seriously? Oh my god, I didn't know that. <gasps> Call them out. Call them out. As she should. Queen. Queen. Okay, this one's huge. I don't know if I want to put this one in or not. That one's huge. Um... There's also like this that I guess we could put next to that seat or something. And, but this is also really cute, the little fountain. I like, I kind of like this too. There's so many options. This one doesn't go. This was that say goodbye to this one. It's cute, but it doesn't go. She said, A-O-T-Y, I ain't win that cool. I ain't stunting about them. Take that shit on the chin. Come back and fuck up the pen. Oh. <laughs> She is such a queen. She is such a queen. Hey, everyone knows that she was robbed, all right? Everyone knows. Okay, let's do this. And then can we put this here? I don't like it. No, there's something wrong with this. No, it's too much, I think. It's too much. I need a little bit more of something else. Otherwise, this just looks like a furniture catalog threw up on this island. Nope. 
I'm making executive decisions here. Goodbye. I'm thinking of goodbying this seat too. Let's do... And then maybe one more, and then maybe we could put something in front of this. Like some sort of furniture that is not part of this catalog, you know? Also, Cowboy Carter, along with the country inspo, uh, she also uses a lot of Baroque era references as well, which historically came after the Renaissance era. Era. Her mind, bro. Oh, she's genius. I'm a music dweeb. I could yap about it all day. Oh my god, my dog's head is right next to my chair. I'm about to roll over a head, I swear to god. But which is your favorite um, Beyonce album? Favorite, favorite. Because I don't know, man. Lemonade's kind of still my fave. Lemonade's my fave. I la la. Okay, I'm thinking this one. Thrown in the back over here. Lemonade for sure, right? It's just so good. Where does this go? Okay, let's do another one of the rose things. Um, ooh, an ivory flower pot. That's cute. Let's do that one. Hee <laughs> hee, cute. I kind of like this. Okay, so... The issue I have is that now it's kind of looking like um, the catalog threw up here, right? So let's try to make it not look like that by doing something. We could, oh no, I was about to say we could plant some stuff. We could plant some stuff, actually. We could do the garden pots. Garden pots, we could plant <laughs> more strawberries. Um, uh, CC is so good though. Um, I love Renaissance as well. It just took longer to grow on me than the others. I think I only kind of really liked Renaissance after I saw her tour. Like before that, it was just like, oh, eh. I think for me especially, it takes me longer to, uh, like, I, I need to actually watch, like, something in order for me to fully appreciate the tour and stuff. I kind of like the previous look, of it, like this one. It just looks better. Okay, in that case, let's get rid of this. Okay, we'll plant something in there. Maybe tea saplings. Maybe this is my tea sapling area. Oh, wait, that would be super cute. Hold on. Wait, what do we put tea in again? Is it kegs? Is it kegs? Wait, what makes, what makes tea leaves? No, wait, what, what makes tea? What makes tea? What makes tea leaves? No, wait, tea leaves is from tea saplings. But what makes tea? Kegs? Is it kegs? Tea. Stardew Valley. Tea bush, tea sapling. What do we put the tea in? Uh, keg, yes. Ooh. What about if we put some cakes? This could be my tea area. It's my sexy area, but also to make it functional, my tea area. I kind of like that. Okay. Do I have an alternative texture? No, I don't have one. Okay, but cakes itself is cute. I just wish it was white. A 
Okay, let's just... Okay, let's put stuff away. Stuff that I don't need anymore. Um, these are good. I mean, not this. Okay, I'll put this here. And then the kegs, maybe I'll put it... Should I put it in a line? And then I could alternative texture this one to make it white. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so let's do let's do this as well. Let's we do this? Could we just go all around like that? Okay. Change all of this to white. So that it goes together. Get the tea up. Hee, so cute. Can I put more tea over here? Hey, Rad! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome in, raiders. Let's give you a shout out. Hold. Okay. Hi, hi. How was your stream? What were you playing? Rat, 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 rat. What were you up to? What were you playing? Welcome in, raiders. We are currently doing um, Stardew Valley, a little cozy designing stream. Uh, hold on. Let's give you this as well. You're doing Breath of the Wild? Wait, I have to wait 59 minutes. Huh? That's a really long... Okay, well. The fuck are those statues? This is my sexy area. <laughs> Ricey Cup, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. How's it going? How's it going? Um, yeah, this is my sexy area. Um, we downloaded this mod, which had sexy figurines in it. So I thought we'll give Grandpa a little show. Um, and uh, just put it in his area so that he can have fun in his afterlife. You know, I'm being considered. I'm being a filial granddaughter. All right. All right. <laughs> but how is Breath of the Wild? Come on. Let's do this as well. Actually, you know what? Fuck this. Remove this. This is kind of out of place. No, not that. This. There we go. Um, you're deep in the DLC. Oh wait, there's a DLC for, for Breath of the Wild? I really need to get on that, that Koro thing, because it's just... Okay, can't see shit over there, so putting a bunch of flowers over here. Putting a bunch of like the grass here and stuff. It's pretty good. Oh, does it expand the story or something, or is it more like like a side quest? I'll put a stepping stone over here. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll put a stepping stone here. And then I shall paint bucket. I can't see the other one. Um, but yeah, it's paint bucketed. A bit of expanding the story, but mostly side quests and upgrades. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so that's definitely something that I gotta look out for once I'm done with uh, regular Breath of the Wild, right? That's so much fun. Hey, I'm gonna show you um, the progress that we did on stream so far. In one, two, three, hui! Waha! Also, yes, I downloaded a mod that lets me like zoom out so much. Okay, this stream we covered this area. Uh, we did this whole farming area. Ooh, I really, I really, really like this area. Hold on. I'm gonna show you. This is like the little lake. I call it a lake house. My lake house area. So, you know, this person, they just, they just have this little far own farm plot. This is their lake house. Um, and then 
we also actually that that's mainly what we did. We had this little like um outdoor barbecue cooking area with an outdoor bar. Yeah, it's just like a really good socialization area, you know what I'm saying? Socialization. People can just sit here, they can sit there, they can sit everywhere. It's a nice spot. It's a nice spot. Oh, I am a hundred percent more mod than vanilla. You see those ducks over there? That's a mod. <laughs> this is actually a uh, the, the crap pots. I downloaded a mod to change them to ducks. Let me zoom in for y'all. Yeah, so these are crap pots. And yeah, they're ducks. <laughs> the final bit of the DLC is a bit meme -y. Wait, in a good way or a bad way? Okay, wait, hold on. This is a bit too zoomed in. Let's do this. Okay. A good meme? Okay, that's good. Imagine just having a plain farm with no decor can't be me. Oh, 100% cannot be me either. Like, I just... I, I don't know how to, how to live without it now. I don't know how to live without mods. It's actually... It's taken over my life. It's too good. Okay, let's do this and this. So I wanted this area to be like a little bit more functional rather than just being grandpa's sexy plot. So I also um, changed this into like a tea sapling area. So we can make tea over here. I have the cakes here. I have the tea leaves here and everything. So it's, it's cute. It's functional now. You know, it's not just for grandpa's wet dreams. It's not just for that. It is also for that, but not just for that. That's important. Key, thanks. Okay, I don't know if I want to keep that. Um, I don't think the lion's going to stay, to be honest. The lion is not the vibe. The sexy thing, yes, though. I'm going to keep the sexy thing. I'm going to keep it at the side here. Uh, I think we need something else in this area, just to kind of... I don't know. Actually, I'm really liking this tea sapling area. This is so good. Watch chat is going to visit Vol's house IRL. You see this cookie? It's a mod. This doggo, a mod. <gasps> My dog is not a mod. <laughs> need to use the bathroom? Well, the bathroom's a mod. <laughs> Everything is a mod. Everything. <laughs> Man, if I were able to like cheat IRL, I would. Oh my god. Isn't like, okay, imagine if I could cheat IRL. Basically, just get infinite money. Like in The Sims, just mother load everything. Man, I would. Uh, my house would be so nice. I wouldn't even want a big mansion either, you know? I just want like. A nice sized house that I could just decorate. Oh, imagine being able to decorate with like IRL with infinite amounts of money. Oh. That is the dream. That is the dream. Vol's got the wallet mod. She always got money. Oh god. I wish. I wish. The core of gold? Oh my god, are you Donald Trump? <laughs> like how Donald Trump has like a gold toilet or something. That's what he's apparently known for, the gold toilet. I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what's up with Don, Donald Trump's bathroom and stuff, but that's what I heard, that he's got a gold toilet. <laughs> okay, I wanted like a, maybe a few more kegs here. Yeah, like, like something like that, you know? And then, hold on, maybe instead of this, it's this. This is becoming less of like a sexy area, more of like a... Is this still a sexy area if I remove all of the sexiness? <laughs> is this still a sexy area? Yeah, Retro, welcome in! How's it going? How's it going? Um, I always wonder why we never seen Grandma's ghost. Yeah, why is it only Grandpa? <laughs> Thank you for the money, 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 money. Sound redeem, Rad. 
Yes, the incredibly rich need to flex their wealth somehow. <laughs> okay, if you... Here's my question. If you guys suddenly won, like, the lottery or something, would people be able to tell? And also, what's the first thing you would get if you won the lottery? If just suddenly the next day, like, hey, shit, you just won $10 million, what would you do? Honestly, for me, I think I would just buy a house. Like, and then that would wipe out, like, 90% of the $10 million already, so then that's just, that's just gone. Get a house and better Wi-Fi network, holy shit. Actually, I don't even think $10 million is enough. Okay, let's say I want $100 million. Then, then we're talking. Then we're talking, all right? Invest all of it into high-yield dividend stocks. But, like, what, what, if, what, if, what, if, what if, you know, the, the stocks fail? Stocks fail sometimes, right? I don't know. You can tell that I'm not a stock person. I'm not a trader. I'm scared. I'm scared. Live off the dividends? Wait, that's actually kind of smart. Maybe I'll like put it all to a like financial advisor. I don't know. I don't know how to read stocks, man. That's not my thing. That's why you invest into ETFs. Wait, I need to be. Do I, I feel like I need to be taking notes now. ETFs. Okay. Is, is that what we're all doing? ETFs. I like reading Wall Street bets sometimes, but that's only see just for fun. I'm not really actually, you know. <laughs> I just find it funny. <laughs> Especially the whole time when they were all like uh did didn't they do something crazy with the, the game game what's it called? Game 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 shop? That's not it. GameStop, GameStop, there we go. GameStop. Bruh. Hold on, this is a little bit. No! Okay, well. Okay, I like this. I've gotten rid of the sexiness, but you know what? I'm just gonna put the sexiness over there. This is Grandpa's area anyway. If I put it over there, Grandpa can't see shit. Grandpa wouldn't be able to see shit. Trust the stock market. Want the lottery? I'll do the math. Maybe buy a house. Maybe invest it. ETFs are like index stocks where one ETF is actually a bunch of fragments of companies instead of just a single company. Oh, wait. I think I do do that then. I don't know. My dad says, put the money here and I put the money there. I don't know, man. Get the let grab see shit mod. <laughs> I, I don't know. This is kind of scandalous. This, I think, is Grandpa plus Emily. Maybe I'll hide it over here. I don't know. I don't like to see it. I'll hide it here. It's, it's going to be Grandpa's secret thing. And then I'll put it behind something. I'll put it behind something. I said dude. To oh, I'm so sorry. This is a family-friendly channel, is it not? <laughs> I'm so, so sorry. Like, what if I just, you know, do that? What if I did that? <laughs> Wait, I need to hide it behind it. Okay, so only you guys will know. Only you guys will know that there is a secret, there's a secret thing that Grandpa's looking at over here. No one else knows. <laughs> secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Lava. Okay, I need something over here as well. A bench? Oh. Grandpa likes to sit and watch. Is that Grandpa's vibe?
<laughs> Would grandma approve of the sexy spot? You know what? I I actually have a hit canon about this. I don't think grandma exists. I don't think grandma exists. Look, if grandma were to exist, I think I think she would also have a tombstone around this area, but she doesn't. So what does that mean? You mean she's no longer around? I think she just straight up never existed. Just straight up. Never. What if, like, grandpa always wanted children, but he couldn't? So then he actually went through, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe we're adopted. Maybe our, my, maybe our parents were adopted. I think it's plausible. Are you your own grandma? <laughs> oh, yo, that's messed up. <laughs> Will you go? Can we always be this close forever? Taking our Okay, I like this, y'all. Wait, this was actually... Wow. Okay. I can't believe we actually did this. I thought this was going to be a really, really bad area. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> I am my own grandma. The Futurama episode messes with my brain so much. Hi! Good morning, baby. Hi, baby. Oi. Okay. Oi, go, oi, go, oi, go. Shh. It's okay, it's okay. 